Tuesday, July 22nd, 2014, time for another edition of WZR TV Tuesdays, here on WZROnline.com. It is 8.06 p.m. Eastern Time, it's a lot better than I thought we were going to do. Um, how you doing, Matty B? I'm a little bit stressed out. He's a little bit stressed out. Listen. Every week, I come on here. Me or you? And the first thing I say to you guys, pretty much every week, and I'm gonna say it again right now. It's I'm, it's, busy. I didn't say busy. It's busy. Yeah. Okay. It's it's very very busy on uh, on the websites today. Has been all day. Was very busy yesterday. Coming off the battleground pay per view from this past Sunday night, uh, it's just been nonstop, and that's what happens on post pay-per-view days especially I mean every Monday and Tuesday is busy 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 all the time but uh what is it, what's Adam Rose party party all the time busy busy all the time something like that I have no idea what what's Adam Rose say something all the time I don't know party all the time I something just know like the that. lemon rosebud thing that's but like lemon, that's it's nothing. always busy especially on post pay-per-view days so tonight I was caught up. I caught up about a half an hour, 45 minutes ago. You on the MMA side of things. That's with, what I'm uh, uh, Man, I mean, it's just been crazy busy uh, the, with MMA. A big fight just uh, was announced. Uh, Not the fight, the venue was announced. The venue. They kept it okay. secret, but they said, they said Lost, uh, Jones Gustafson 2 is the fight. Okay. And they said Las Vegas, and there's really only two places they would go, Mandalay Bay or MGM, but they kept it a secret for some reason. Okay. And when asked why they weren't saying the, the venue, Dana White said it'll work, it's business, it'll make sense when we announce it. Okay. I haven't got to read the article yet, but I saw where it's going to be, which is MGM. MGM. But okay. I don't know why or what the thing was. I'll have to check it out. And so Boone's been running around here. Like well, yeah, that just came out now. There's been I all mean, kinds of shit. Today. You've been going crazy back and forth. Got you a, uh, a yeah. little bit stressed out before the show. But Good here's what I figure, man. We come on here, and for the next two hours, we get to sit back. We get to kick back. We Ugh. talk wrestling. We talk to MMA. You know? And have a good diet. It's kind of, it's almost, I mean... It's a break. It is a break. That's how I look at it every week. Uh, other than setting everything up. Like, I'm still sweating my nuts off. I see that. I gotta take a shower earlier. See, I take scalding hot showers. Right, right. Shower. So I take a hot-ass shower. It's hot in this house. You come around, you move with tables and fucking lamps and computers and desks and shit to get set up here. And yeah, yeah I don't have a chance to cool down. I know, little, I know. A little warm. And I don't think the AC is working all that good right no, now either. Man. That and I'm fat. It was, uh, hairy. Oh, you're not fat. Well, enough weight that, you know, you you're get a little sweaty. Fat. Jesus. Now you're making me sound like a broad. Oh, you, your thighs look fine. <laughs> no, but then you, I got the thick hair, so you sweat a lot. It's just a... Uh, Pull up the live uh, chat room. Pull up the live chat room. We got uh, lots and lots of people in the chat room tonight. We got a lot to talk about, man. We're going to do uh, uh, Battleground. We're going to talk about that from Sunday night. Also, Monday Night Raw from last night. WWE SmackDown. Main event tapings in progress right now from Orlando. I, I hope I'm not spoiling a secret, but we have a return tonight too, right? Yo, know, I believe. Listen, That's let me give story. you. Let me let me give you guys the rundown. It seems like okay? a top of the show thing to talk about. I came in here a couple of days ago, and and a lot of you guys that have been listening to WZR TV for for years now used to be a woman by the name of. Jackie. Oh, that, correct. That would call Jackie. Up. Jackie. Well, that's what we call All her. Right, she would call up, and we loved her. That's she was awesome. A woman who takes her wrestling seriously. She takes her wrestling She's a die very, hard fan. very, very seriously. Yeah. So uh, she used to call us, and the Lana Rusev stuff broke, and we're going to talk about that. I mean, we're going to get into Battleground, and Lana cut a promo. Uh, and everybody knows that last uh, uh, Friday or, or Thursday, I believe it was, uh, there was an incident overseas in Russia, right on the Russian-Ukraine border, where there's a lot of intense fighting ongoing right now, where Russia is trying to take over Ukraine and trying to make it part of their country, and Ukraine is fighting back. Um, so any airplanes and everything else that are flying in that area... Uh, the Russians are, are shooting them down, thinking that they're Ukraine planes. And uh, what happened was a civilian plane uh, was shot down 290-something uh, people on board a Malaysian, Malaysian Airlines, Airlines flight. Yeah. flight. 
uh, you know, and it was shot down, and Lana came out of Battleground and basically cut the promo, you know, and she didn't reference directly the plane crash, but I think she said something along the lines of, you United States people try to blame Russia for the recent events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that she, she strongly mentioned, alluded to it. She, the fact that she mentioned recent events, everybody knew what she was talking about. If you've been following the news, I'll put it to you, you this way: I don't follow the news. Right. All I knew was what you told me, and I did play-by-play of Battleground, and I re- and it was only like a two-minute promo before the Swagger Rusev match. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That she made those comments. You so, are sweating like I know. a motherfucker. That's why I get angry, because I wow. want to sit down and chill. And wow. So, All right. So I don't have to do this on camera. Okay. You are sweating yeah. like crazy. But anyways, um, even I was able to tell what she was talking about, and I don't even know the damn story. I just know the very basics that you've been telling me. So in my little recap of a two-second, two-minute promo that she did, I was able to figure out what she was talking about. All right. All right. So obviously other people would, that actually know the story, follow the news, etc., so she really touched a hot button issue, which is something they always do. They've right. done it with what Muhammad Hassan, Sergeant Slaughter during the uh, Des- or Gulf War. Right. Uh, I right. think they fuck with Desert Storm. They fuck with 9/11. They fuck right. with that bo- uh, train getting blown up in England. Right. There's been millions of times where it's just. I, I, I mean, mean, and listen, it's a it's a smart move, and it's been done throughout the history of wrestling where you take a nationalistic issue. I wrote an editorial about this, eWrestlingNews.com, about how the wrestling business always takes nationalistic issues. And they exploit it in their programs with their wrestlers. You know, one guy's a good guy representing America and Stars and Stripes. The other guy's representing whoever the bad guy is at the time. Right. And this is an instance where they're doing it again. But you know, my, my big beef is they always, they A, go too far. Right. And B, when they're called on it, they... They, they backtrack. They, they, they yeah, backtrack. Like their statement they released was like, oh, we're sorry if you misunderstood. We weren't. But they, about that. they clearly were. In in in, in so their defense, lying. in their defense, they didn't come out and outright say it. it. It could have been anything. The recent events could have been the fighting between Russia and Ukraine. It could have been. I, I'm not. I mean, everybody knows that clearly they were referencing what yeah. had happened. And that's but it, there's there's ongoing fighting. The storyline for weeks before this yeah, yeah, yeah. had been about Russia and, and. But that's and because so, Putin and that whole thing you were telling me right. about. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're well, exploiting that in general. This right. just happened to be something fresh that right that involved the same yeah. president and the in point the, being the same area. And I mentioned it in the editorial is that. People on that level of the show, like Lena, that's a character that her promos are scripted word for word. Mm. She's not a John Cena that says that they say, "Yo, make right. sure to push this and say it in your own words." No, she word for word has to say what they tell her. So obviously, they scripted it that way on purpose. Absolutely, it was clear based on what she said that we Absolutely. knew what she was talking about. So right. they purposely I exploited agree. a very bad tragedy to get a heat on one of their heels. But they, ca- I mean, in, in and then denied it when they were confronted. What I'm saying is. Lana couldn't. Is it Lena or Lana? I think it's. Lena. I think it's Lana. Lana. But Lana. Oh, Lana came out and and and. Okay, if she came out and cut a promo and said, "You United States people, you blame us for shooting down an airplane," something like that. But she didn't say that. No. She said, "You blame us for the recent events." So WWE did keep it. I don't want to say classy it, because no. it was complete. It wasn't classy at no, all. But what's no. the word I'm looking for? They kept they it. Kept it Civilized. I, I, they, they were politically correct. Politically about it. correct. Not really, though. But I know what you're saying. In a right. sense, they didn't cross the bound boundaries because they didn't actually specifically say it. But they strongly alluded to it. Everybody knew what they were talking about. Right. And my beef with their statement because they released a statement after all the criticism uh-huh. and, and the controversy. And the statement, I forget that there was two points I wanted to make from the statement. I, and I covered them in the editorial. Go check eWrestlingNews.com. But the second I know for sure was. And we apologize if you misunderstood the segment. Basically saying, no, we weren't even alluding to that, and sorry if that's what you thought, because you're clearly wrong. Like, no, now you're lying, because that's exactly what you were alluding to, and you just don't want to admit it because you got fucking shit for well, it. they're not going to admit it. I mean, yeah. clearly they're not going to admit it. That's what any company is going to do. But that's my beef. They go too far, right? they get called on it, and then they lie about it. Right. right. It's just classic, classic right. shit for a PG product. They shouldn't even be talking about Right. Well, I mean, how many well, Teletubbies no, no, episodes do you know covered the fucking, you know, war? You know what? Not, not only that, but there mm. were 290 people that, right. uh, number one, lost their lives. Yeah. And number two, they've got families. 290 lots of, families that are... Lots affected. of family members that are just, you know, uh, this came out of nowhere. And think about those families that lost, you know, a, a, a member of their, their family. 
on that plane yeah. and and to even reference it um and i understand the, the media show. on a pg show and the media has to cover it, this that and the other thing but a lot of times we often forget that when the media covers stories like this it's all about who shot it down yes. what kind of rocket was it what kind of missile was it uh who's the bad guy? who was involved yeah. what about the people what about the 290 people that passed away um what what, what about uh what what did they do for a living? Um, you know, give us more information about the people. Let's cover more about the people that that's a whole other thing that, about that lost their lives yeah. instead of what kind of rocket, what kind of missile was it, who shot it down. And I understand that's what everybody wants to know, but there's a whole nother side. See, that's what your families and everything yeah, else. What you're getting into now is a debate on on the media in general, the way they cover stories. Well, they uh, always go for the controversial, grabby that's, headline. But that's what, I, that's what everybody wants to yeah. read, whether you admit it or not. That's what sells. That's, that's why they do sells. it, is because it sells. Yeah, so people honest, are obviously you, interested in it, because that's what they want to know. We do it a lot of times on the wrestling websites as well. Every I, chance it's, we get. It's, it's the part, it's it's the way the media works. But if our defense, pity falls out, we want pictures and we want to promote it. Absolutely, and we did that on the website last yeah. night. But in our Was defense, that a key point of role last night? In our defense, it's not all about, it's not all about backstage news. It's not all about backstage news and, and rumors and things like that. The Make-A-Wish stuff that we put up on the website. The good things that yeah. happened where, well, where you know, Titus O'Neil teaming up with, yeah. you know, things like that where we try to mix it up and, and put the good and the bad. Uh, unfortunately, when somebody passes away, yeah. it's our job to cover that, but it's also our job, and we don't have to. We don't have to cover the Make-A-Wish and, and anything like that, but it's the right thing to do where, you know, also address the positive things that happen. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, we cover everything. It's just right. a... It's just not a coincidence that the shit that gets the most hits and the most clicks and all this stuff is the is, controversial shit. It's the people who get fired from their jobs and, and the, the backstage stuff, the rumors yeah. and the fights and the things like that. Uh, that's the stuff and that... what does that say? That says that's what the public is interested in, what so most that's why we harp on it so much. People are like, why don't you just right. not talk about... Well, we can't not talk about it, because that's what everybody wants to know. That's what everybody wants to know. Our and job is to tell traffic, what they want to know. The traffic is that right sense. there to show you guys what is the what are what are the highest viewed posts what do these people care on the about website, the and right. the controversial stories are what people click on the most. So, you know, but we try to mix so it that up. That was the analogy I was trying points. to make. Was Nikki Bella's titty falling out a big part of last night's Raw? Absolutely. It wasn't a lot of people didn't even notice it. It wasn't even acknowledged. I didn't even notice it. And it wasn't acknowledged, obviously, on TV or, or anything. And yet, it was probably one of the most viewed things that coming out of the show last it night. Was and they did the, a lot of big shit last it night. It was the top But that was post, above all of them. Why? Top viewed post on the Nudity website sells, today. sex sells, controversy sells. Absolutely. And granted, it was only a nipple. You Barely know even a little nipple. glimpse of it, too. It's a nipple. You know what I mean? I told like my boss, I said it was just a sneak peek of her twin peaks, because you barely even see the nipple. She's the one that had the uh, the breast implants too, right? Yeah, Nikki. Nikki. Yeah, 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 Nikki's the one that had the uh, the implants. So we got to get into that Bree Stephanie thing too. That was amazing. Last that time. segment was great. Fucking believable. Stephanie is. Uh, we are seeing some of the best Stephanie McMahon that yes. we've ever seen, Agreed. ever, ever in the history of Stephanie. She's McMahon very underrated as a heel character. Yeah, yeah and I think. Yeah. Bree's doing equally as good in her role. Bree was awesome. This is like a female Bree's version awesome. on a very lower scale of Austin McMahon, Vince McMahon. I agree. It's like the same thing, only it is. women and much lower down in importance right. and, and relevance. But it's going to well, be a big deal when they meet at SummerSlam. It's going to feel like absolutely. a thing. You know? Well, are they going to do, and we'll talk about this later when we get into it, but I'm thinking they're going to do Stephanie versus Nikki. Uh, because Brie right now is not employed by WWE. I mean, that's the Well, that would probably be the story gimmick. Uh, Stephanie Brie, if Brie wins, she gets her job back. No, no, Stephanie, Nikki, and if Nikki wins, Brie gets her job back. Well, I was Brie's thinking, the one without the job. But I think Nikki's going to end up turning heels, so it would be Stephanie Brie and then Nikki screws Brie. Alliance with Stephanie. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, right. you just right. can't beat them joint kind of thing. Like, she's been right. getting my ass kicked every week. Let me just fuck it. I'll to join you guys. But well, Stephanie would have to say, okay, you're hired back for one That's night. That's the confusing part, yeah. You're hired back for one night. I'm going to face you. If you defeat me, the They did it recently with the Rhodes brothers, Goldust and Cody Rhodes. Who was it? Which one got fired? Cody Rhodes lost his job, remember? Goldust lost his job. 
No, I think it was Cody Rhodes lost his job. And Not in real life, in storyline. Yeah, yeah, right, right, Cody right. Rhodes okay. lost his job, okay, and yeah, they right. had a match to see if he could get back. Exactly. And then Goldust got back too later, but right, yeah, right, it, right. it was the same thing. You same thing. Same type of thing. Right, 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 absolutely. So, anyways, but uh, well, we're going uh, to we're gonna get into it here in a second. We'll get these plugs out of the way, and then we will get into Battleground and Monday Night for Raw from last night. Jackie... I believe is going to be calling up at some point during this show tonight. Yeah. She is really, really upset over Rusev and Did you find out why? Um, she left. Okay. I don't need to know why. I'm just asking if you found. We've it. we've got the Skype phone number that you guys we hand out the number for you guys to call, right? Uh, we, you and I checked the Skype, right? Because people leave voicemails. They think that, hey, I can call on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, when we're not here for the two hours. And we get all these Fuck, voicemails. Man, we should have opened up as like a tip line. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Well, we get all these emails or all these voicemails that are left on Skype and you, you, people will be on there. Hello? 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 Are, am I on? Am I, I on the play air? Jack. He's probably no. on here. Yeah, right, right, right. Well, well, well hopefully hunch. she calls. But anyway... So she left all these voicemails about give me an Lana. Of one. It's like ten seconds. Lana and Rusev. If if you can find them, go ahead. She left all these voicemails up there, right? And then I get email after email. I'm telling you guys, like fifteen or twenty emails from Jackie. I haven't read any of them, but I know that she's pissed off at Lana and Rusev. You want to hear it? So yeah, go ahead. Ryan, it's Jackie. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me, but can you please call me back at 586? Oh, 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 stop, 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 all right, <laughs> so they, that's that's her. So she's been leaving these voicemails and uh, and and all these other things, right? You've been getting these crazy emails from her. Well, she's really really upset about the Lana and uh, and Rusev thing, and I I don't know why, but whatever. I've been getting all these tweets. I mean, like we're talking like 30, 40 tweets, man, and emails and voicemails and everything. So I think she's gonna call up tonight, and we'll find out what her problem is with Lana and Rusev. She's not in the chat, though. Is she? I I don't I don't know, but if she is, I think she's gonna call up here in a little bit and uh, let us know what her problem is with Rusev and 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 Lana. So. Anyways, all right. Speaking of the chat room, live chat room on and in progress right now. WZROnline.com slash chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. It is live internet radio. Yes, I forgot about the phone number. My, I did too. My bad. Um, the official website of WZR TV Tuesdays. WZROnline.com. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZRArmy, YouTube.com slash WZRArchive, and we're on Twitter as well. Just go to WZROnline.com, top navigation bar, drop down menu. It's got all the links to Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. WZROnline.com slash nothing. WZROnline.com. Get there. The official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. <laughs> What were you smirking about when you I was just had a lot of bucks. energy for that one? Huh? Yeah. Proud of you. Yeah. Right, thank you. All right. Um. So, how was your week? The week was good. It's hot today, man. It was like ninety something degrees around here. It's a warm one. Supposed to get big thunderstorms tomorrow. Thinking about going to the pool later in the week. Maybe Thursday, Friday, something like that. You know what I mean? Do it up. No drama around here this past week. Wasn't there some sort of drama? Uh, I had something that went down around here. I had bad stuff with family. Nothing uh, around here that I could think of. I could have there was something, something, wasn't there? Something went down around here, and I can't remember. It must not have been important. Obviously not. No, I guess not. A lot of important shit going on in wrestling, though. Yes, there is. Let's WWE Battleground from Sunday night. To be honest with you, I thought Battleground was a really good show, and I thought Raw last night was, ah, that's what I had a problem with. Battleground was a really good show. I thought it was show. pretty good, man. Battleground was good. You didn't like Battleground? Not particular, no. Yeah. I was really looking forward to Rollins and Ambrose. I was too. And then they didn't do I it. I was too. Uh, I thought the Usos match was great. I thought the main event was... Mm, yeah. I thought the... Uh, I don't even remember much else, so that tells you how important it was. We had the, we had the pre-show match was uh, Fandango. Yeah, two of them. Two of them. Yeah. Right, right. Fandango and Adam Rose and Naomi Cameron. You know, I was trying to update my top stories, everything else. I fell way behind. I didn't see any of the pre-show. Yeah. And then I missed the first 
ten minutes of pay per view. Okay, so well, that's pretty basic. The uh, Fandango Adam Rose match. They uh, had Summer Rae and Layla come out with the uh, the Rosebuds. Uh -huh. So they're in Adam Rose's corner. They end up causing Fandango the match, and that was that in that one. And okay, they, you know they danced around with them after the match. Adam Rose, that is. Uh, Naomi Cameron. Uh, Cameron debuted new music and a new look. She wore like a schoolgirl outfit. Okay. I don't think she had the blonde hair anymore. Uh, the match was atrocious. I love how they blew off that feud really Real quick. quick. Like there was a big old yeah. thing, and then poof, it's done. Like they had Brodus Clay as part because remember the Funkadactyls used to be the cheerleaders for Brodus Clay and Tenzai. Right, right. They got rid of Tenzai without any fanfare. They turned Brodus Clay heel against R Truth, who became like their little sidekick. Right. Xavier right. Woods became part of the sidekick. Then he disappears. Clay doesn't come back. Then the Funkadactyls hate each other. They break that. They just got rid of all that crap. Right, right. right. And, it, and you know what? Another one is uh, Alicia Fox. We put it up on the website. That's week right. after week, Throwing Alicia Fox is out there going crazy, yeah. throwing fits. Yeah, and then Not anymore. she's gone. But uh, in this one, the Cameron-Naomi match, it was just god-awful, uh, I believe. Well, it, was, it was bad. Yeah, Cameron, right? Cameron, Cameron got the, uh, the win. <laughs> She was, was in a schoolgirl outfit. She did the schoolgirl pin. You oh, know the schoolboy where you roll yeah. him up. They call it a schoolgirl. Right. One, two, three. So those are your pre-show matches. Neither one of them are worth a shit. Really. And uh, that was about. What that. do you think about our uh, two pre-show matches, man? Did they have the panel there? Was Booker T? Yeah, they there? had the panel. There was they? Renee Young, Alex Raleigh, Booker T, and Christian. And uh, yeah, they didn't talk much because obviously they you had know, two matches to squeeze in thirty minutes. Going back to this feud, you know. Naomi and Cameron. I mean, they did so much on TV. They had one of them on commentary. I think it was Naomi. It was Cameron. Or Cameron oh on God, commentary. Oh, God. Right? Page, I think. Right, right. And they did all this stuff between them to hype it up on Raw. And then it was supposed to be a pay-per-view match, right? Mm -hmm. And then they put it on the pre-show at the last minute. Or was that Fandango and Adam Rose? One of them was supposed to be on the pre-show. The other one wasn't, and they added one. But And then Alicia Fox. It's like, okay... She's doing all this stuff on Raw and SmackDown every week, acting crazy, throwing fits. Then they had her hosting a new YouTube show that they launched called oh, uh, WWE right. Insider. No new episodes of that. So it's like everything that Alicia Fox touches or does. Well, the I don't know about it. the Insider, the WWE Insider show, but I know her throwing a fit thing. That kind of ran its course. I mean, yeah. How many times yeah. can you have her do that? Eventually, it's all. But at least follow it up with. Something. How I mean, do you follow just, that up? They took her she off. She finally wins, and then she's not mad anymore. I mean, no, what do they, you do? They did a backstage segment. It was like on one of the uh, the backstage Raw Fallout videos, and Alicia Fox was completely normal. She was back to her normal self, I and, didn't see it. and then we haven't seen anything <coughs> from her from you know. Well, from she that was point part on. of the Four Divas last night to beat up Nikki for Stephanie. Oh, she was on Raw yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah. Right. All right, we had uh, the pay-per-view kicked off. It was the Usos against Luke Harper and Eric Rowan for the WWE Tag Team titles. What a match, That was bro. definitely the best match on the show, in my opinion. It was awesome. Yeah, it was bro. really good, just like you expect. They've had a billion matches together. All of them have been good. This was two out of three falls for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, so of hey, the more the better, man. They were having an yeah, awesome yeah. Well, match. they had a lot of time to fill, so I was assuming that's why. But, um... So they right. split the falls, the uh, first two falls, and then I thought they were going to switch the titles, but they didn't. I did too. The Usos did ended too. up retaining. We didn't do predictions for this show. No, we didn't. We didn't. I know. We always forget, man. You know. I did yeah. a bet with you and, or was it just Shalik? I think it was, was Shalik. Okay. And right. I, uh, or no, 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 no. I lost to Shalik in UFC. We bet last night on Raw, not this. No, you and Shalik bet We bet the Jericho night. thing on Raw, not Battleground. Not you and I. Yeah, me and Shalik. You and Shalik. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It still doesn't sound right saying Shalik. It should be. He needs to Shalik, change his name to right? Shalik. Shalik, yeah. right? I've been calling him Shalik for 15 years, and now I find right. out it's wrong. But we I, had uh, the uh, the finish of the Usos uh, Wyatt family uh, match came when the Usos they both did a uh, it was like the double double super kicks or not super kicks the splashes yeah. splashes right 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 so that was awesome the uh, the crowd chanted this is awesome towards the end of the match and uh, I'll tell you what man I put it up on Facebook and I would have to go back and rewatch it again but I had said and I know it's the Usos and the Wyatt family but damn after that match I'm thinking match of the year as far as one of the matches not the match of the year but a candidate if you were to put it in i don't know maybe the top 10 matches of the year i mean so got, far yeah. i know you've got main events and things like that well, i'm which thinking off the top of my head the cesaro Sami Zayn match from, from the nxt, NXT special right. was insane right. so was the tyler breeze Sami Zayn match 
right? Uh, shit, for that matter, Charlotte and fucking Natalia tore it up. I know, I know. Uh, right? There's been a lot of matches this year that have been really good. There was uh, some Shield matches against uh, anything with Evolution. The Shield when they were doing that. Yeah, right. those were great. Right. Shield and uh, Wyatt's has been great. There's been a lot of Sheamus matches that have been great on Raw. Right. There's been some really good shit this year already. So. I'd throw it up there, though, in, in yeah. maybe the top ten matches. I mean, that was awesome. Daniel I just Bryan's remember. had some good I don't know, man. Top ten's. Tough. Yeah, top ten. Damn top good. It was easily the match of this show, and it right. was yeah, it was one of the best matches of the year so far. I don't know where you would rank it. I just remember it's coming good. coming out of that match, man, and I immediately went to Facebook and said, "I gotta tell you, man, that's up there as a possible match of the year. Not the match of the year, obviously, but it was up there as as one of the the uh, the really good ones." We had next Ooh. up was. Well, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Next up, they went backstage. You're still sweating, man. Yeah, I, I, so I said I have to cool off, and then yeah. I'm good. Yeah. If I never cool off, it never goes I know, away. It's not gonna go away. But uh, no, they went backstage and they oh, interviewed right. Seth Rollins, right. and then it was like the reverse of what had happened on Raw for the Go Home Show. Correct. Ambrose attacked them out of nowhere, beat the living shit out of them, and then uh, Christ, did they? I think they separated them. And didn't Triple H kick him out of the building here? Or what? You got to run this they, down. Right. Know. They had said Ambrose. Ambrose attacked Rollins, uh, and the producers came in and broke it up. Triple H comes in and says, "Get him out of the building," and then said something along the lines of, He's "You're not, not gonna, gonna fuck. You're yeah. not gonna fuck this up, or you're not gonna screw this up." Seth Rollins was his plan B for the main event, right? So he's like, "Yeah, you're not screwing my uh, plan B up. Bro. You're not screwing this up yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. Get him out of the building. Uh, he's gone." So, oh, that's right. You know, Rollins just, goes out. He wants him to declare him the winner by forfeit. Right, right. And and that Ambrose comes, that comes later, though. Oh, that, that wasn't later. Right because the announcers had hyped up that Rollins and Ambrose was next. But before that, they went backstage, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. where this whole thing. So Ambrose is ejected from the building. Don't come back. Triple H says, you're not going to screw up my night. So then they go into the Divas match, the second Divas match of the night. Yeah, the they, I thought they were going to make this the bridge match between the, the main events. Yeah. But I think the reason they didn't was because they knew that this had the potential. AJ, AJ and Paige mm -hmm. has the potential to be a really good Divas match, it really which does. is rare. And right. B, they actually had a pretty cool little storyline. Or they're friends, but they're enemies. Frenemies. Frenemies, which we'll Frenemies. get into more right. on Raw. I won't spoil it yet, but I, I thought that the build-up was good. The match right. had the potential to be good, unless they put it in between the two main events, and then no matter how good it was, nobody's going to care about it. Because right. they can't match the level of Jericho Wyatt in the, in the title match. Right. So they gave it a chance by putting it on early. You know what? I'm just thinking about things. You but had, I, I didn't think it was that good. You had just brought up that, you know... Rollins had attacked Ambrose on Raw the week before, and then at Battleground, Ambrose comes back and attacks Rollins, right? Same thing with, like, with uh, AJ Lee and um, Paige as well, where when AJ Lee... Dogs are barking like crazy. When, uh, when Paige defeated AJ Lee for the Divas title, they did reverse... The exact reverse yeah, yeah, yeah. last night on Raw, which we'll get to oh, later. Oh, no, no, so no. Oh, like they're having no, they already one did the reverse of that. They had... It was the night after WrestleMania, they had Paige debut and then just beat AJ Lee her first night in. Right. Then AJ takes two months off, and her first night back, she beats Paige for the title on Raw. That's true. So but last then night I, was just the finished product of the storyline where they had, I guess we'll just Paige. Right, but on you. Raw, when, when AJ turned her back and, and Paige ripped her down by the hair, it was the yeah. same thing that AJ had done to her. Yeah, AJ just smacked her and said, now are you ready to defend your, or mm -hmm. ready for a match or whatever? All right. I'll All right. The no on the line. They already did the exact opposite, but it is the same thing. As so we Rollins Ambrose. So we had AJ and uh, and Paige for the Divas title. I I'll be honest with you guys. I thought that Paige was going to make her heel turn at the pay per view. I thought it was going to happen here. And then but, explain it on Raw. And then explain it on Raw. Probably but they made more sense. <laughs> right, right, right. But they held it off until <laughs> Raw, which we'll get to here in, right. uh, in just a little bit. Well, AJ retained, so I guess you couldn't. Well, she could have turned heel after the match. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would have made perfect sense. And so, then go into Raw and kind of explain why. Um, I was disappointed, dude. I mean, you were just talking about yeah, it, yeah. AJ and Paige, right? That you was my build-up. They gave it a chance. They had a good right. build-up. The, the two had the chance to have a great match because of yep. the, their styles, and they're both good. Yeah. Uh, and they gave it a chance as far as where they placed it on the card, but they just didn't really live up to the... But they didn't give them a lot of time, either. They weren't clicking, really, though. Yeah, it no, was, you're right. The timing was, was off. I mean, you often see that in, in Divas matches, man. You it's, were just saying it last night about who was it uh, on Raw. Two guys, you were like, yo, the, the timing's off. Yeah, something was. We'll get to it. Yeah, I can't remember. But um, no, it, it just 
they weren't clicking on at, at the battleground pay per view, and there were a lot of sloppy spots and things like that. And I, I get that. When you watch Divas matches, you're used to that kind of stuff, right? Sloppy. Well, there's and there's guys else. too, like that. Uh, they're both on their own. They're good workers, but when they're together, they're just their their styles don't go together well. Like right. RVD and Our, Cesaro. I'm just gonna bring up RVD and Cesaro. Right, Cesaro. They're another, both amazing right? workers on their own, but together they've had some of the sloppiest fucking matches I've seen in a while. Exactly. It's just because their timing isn't right. Their styles aren't meshing good. It's just not a good mix. Well, and you put up an article today, um, which I actually ended up taking. Uh, the WWE crew was burnt out from the recent yeah. Japan tour, uh, the Japanese tour that they were just on. I mean, they've been working nonstop for... God. Before that, they had the European tour. Yeah, before that, they had yeah. the Abu Dhabi shit. I mean, it's they've been going all over the fucking place. And they're about to go to Mexico yeah. next month, right? So I think they're broadening their uh, awareness with the local markets because the WWE Network's going to be launching and their international right. shit next year. So, like, let's right. get everybody back into being WWE fans with some live events in right. their countries, which are rare. Right. And then when the right. network launches, they'll be like, "Oh shit, we got to get the network." AJ, I think that's the mindset. Plus, you just—it's guaranteed money because they sell like crazy oh, absolutely. tickets. Absolutely, tickets, especially yeah. uh, the Japanese tour. Anywhere, uh, cause well, it's so rare. They're in America, North America, all year. So when they go to these European and international markets, well, you that's know their what? One chance a year to see them. They were saying with uh, the the recent Japanese tour that they went on, and part of the reason that they had Hulk Hogan added to that yeah. tour was to increase ticket sales. And Hogan, they said, helped. Big time as Big far time. as ticket sales. The but, second they announced them, they said, yeah. But a lot of those shows weren't sold out in Japan. And Well, when before they added Hogan, they were actually doing poorly with tickets. It was sales. bad, yeah, right? That's why they added them. Right. And it helped. But yeah, like you said, it didn't help enough because they were still... But, but they made money. Japan, Don't you've got all money. Japan, New Japan. I mean, Japan's a big... Japan right, has a very specific I mean? style of wrestling yes. that they like. And yes. a PG WWE product with the oh, big right. cartoon characters come to life. Exactly. Not their style. Exactly. Not at all. And They're that's... more of like a UFC, but let make it fake kind it's, of style. And, of and Japanese fans are really quiet, right? The entire match, they don't... They well, don't you remember the old Pride They only fans. pop for the big stuff, yep. but for the entire match... They're silent. It's, you, it's the weird. bride fights were awesome. It. They'd be dead silent, and dead then somebody silent. either went for it, like or even on the ground in submissions, and they're moving around. And like, say somebody passes someone's half guard, right? Which, to you guys who don't know, your guard is when the guy on your back wraps your legs around the guy on top of you. That mm -hmm. you're guarding your body, you're controlling his hips and keeping them close to you, so you can't do it. Right. If someone passes your guard, that means you get your leg over top of one of the legs that are wrapped around you. Right. Something that small in pride would be it would be dead silent and then somebody would pass someone's guard and the whole crowd would go the whole crowd they would, all at once. They would go Ooh. Ooh. They wouldn't right, even right. pop like or cheer right. or clap. It would be Ooh. It's the same thing with pro wrestling, though, man. Somebody hits a drop kick or something like that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. They all come up. And then it goes silent for the entire it's really weird. If you guys have never watched any uh Japanese matches, whether it be All Japan, New Japan, or Pride. Even WWE, or, or Pride, as well, like Boom was talking about. Um, any matches from Japan, check out the crowd. You guys will be like, what the fuck is going on? Well, you remember the Mike Tyson crazy. when he lost to Buster Douglas, when he first lost his first time? Was Buster, that in Japan? It was in Japan to Buster Douglas. It yeah. was the biggest upset yeah. ever at the time, and yeah. fucking dead crowd, except for when big shit would happen. Ooh! Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy, man. All right, um, we had Randy Orton uh, backstage. He's uh, he's looking for Kane, right? And uh, Kane said it Is wasn't a, a good bold idea. R for Randy yeah, Orton? I know it's weird, right? Yeah. Um, he said it wasn't a good idea to uh, to come find him. And uh, Orton said, "Listen, I know you're angry about what happened on Raw this past week. Yeah. We've been going back and forth. Fact of the matter is, we need to work together tonight. Yes, right? We need to work together tonight, and." Kane's not buying it. He basically says that it's not going to happen. I'm not going to work with you. And uh, he promises uh, Randy that the winner of the Fatal 4 match is standing right here. Fatal so four, it's either yeah. going to be Orton or it's going to be me. Well, he was saying and it's going to be me. Yeah, it's going to be He's like, no, I'm not going to. I'm the guy winning the title. Now. I'm standing right yeah. here and I'm taking the title tonight. Um, well, let's see. They stalled a lot throughout this pay-per-view, yeah. man. They shot to the panel like, right here. And right. They, like, asked for, they do that for every show, though, but they ask for predictions and stuff. Right. Uh, Booker T predicted Randy Orton winning. Christian picked uh, Roman Reigns. We had uh, Rusev against Jack Swagger. Got to talk about the promo. The Lana. Yeah. yeah. The Lana cut. 
uh, before the match. Uh, basically ran it down just a couple of minutes ago. Lana brings up, you know, the USA blames Russia for the recent events, which recent events is what everybody was talking about the following day. Yeah, what were the recent everybody events knew, Russia? And... Everybody knew what she was talking about, what WWE was talking about. So, the uh, the match, it's, uh, and L- Lana went on and on uh, and on yes, and she on, did. man. Well, she always does. <clears throat> um, and not only that, but the crowd wasn't really reacting to her promo. They reacted when she said the recent events. They did react to that, but <clears throat> other than that, I don't know. I they think so. They seem to be loud to me, but okay. I don't know, man. We had, uh, let's see, we had, she... The match, Rusev Swagger. Oh, Rusev yeah. Swagger, yeah. All right. It, uh, it wasn't much. Uh, USA chants and We the People and everything else that they normally do. Well, they didn't give Rusev, them a finish, right? It was like a count out. Count out, yeah. count out, right. Which Rusev, clearly uh, meant they were going to continue the feud. In the right. SummerSlam, but now that doesn't seem to be the case. It doesn't because of that controversy. I because think they just the want to sweep it under the rug, act like it didn't happen, and move on. Well, they had negative media attention, which kind of sucks because that, that was getting swagger over like really a son was. of a bitch. He was getting so he huge was. reactions on Raw, and not only Seth that was, but swagger did, does by default. Did swagger ever do an official babyface turn, mm-hmm. or was it kind of the crowd is doing the whole we the people thing? And they went into this storyline with Rusev, and everybody was like, all right, they're Russia, they're pro-Russia in well, the United Coulter's States. Well, so. taken, taken one by one, he's gone after anybody foreign. Right, right. Whether they were babyface or heel, he mm-hmm. don't like you goddamn foreigners. <laughs> you know, so he would come out and do his thing, and it just so happened that they had this badass Russian who right. was the national enemy. Right. He's the guy that always talks about America, so it was a matter of time before those two met each other. And they were going to be baby faces by default because they're representing America. And right, Russia absolutely. But it Russia. just seemed like, I mean, just a couple of months ago, you got Coulter coming out there trashing the hell out of America. Basically, you Mexicans are coming over the border yeah, yeah, into yeah. our country. I guess he never really trashed America. He yeah, was he, just he trashing. Said that America's not the way it used to be. Not yeah, the America yeah, yeah. I love. That kind of thing, yeah. So it was a natural thing to where he didn't have to officially turn baby face. Right. He could right. just say what he's been saying, and if the guy is, happens to be foreign, now you're the fucking reason our country That's is right. You're right. whatever. And not only that, but everybody was doing the we the people thing. Yeah. And I think that got over more than they thought that it was going to get more. over. And Way more than Cesaro they doing the swing kind of got them to people like like started liking them. Right. And then right. Yeah, it just kind of stuck. And, you know, like, like I said, we the people, the crowd took off, and then like Boone said, Rusev comes in and you've got this pro-Russian guy against... America and who are you gonna cheer for? Who's getting cheers? Of course, Swagger. Yes. Um. So they didn't have much of a match, like we talked about. We had uh, Rusev won via countout. Um. Swagger had the pa- Patriot lock on him, and which uh, he was still selling on Raw last night. He was. I know. Yeah. I know. Um. What else do we have? They announced that uh, Rollins versus Ambrose is uh, officially off. Yes. That's not going to happen tonight, right? They did a gold dust and star the Dust Brothers backstage. Doing Maybe that's why shit. they were stalling so much, as they had probably given like 20 minutes for the Rollins uh, Ambrose match, and then, I don't know, going into the pay per view. Well, they could have bumped one of the pre show matches up onto the main pay per view if they were going to if they were going to stall that many. You know I mean? Yeah. Um. <laughs> let's see. They had Stardust, like you said, Stardust and Gold Dust. They're Promos are a little bit weird. They're very weird. They're very weird, weird. dudes. And, yeah. uh, Winner's laying in the chat. He's asking about Cesaro. He says, does he even do the swing anymore? The I don't think he swing. does. No, he doesn't because he's supposed to be a heel. Yeah. So you know, they don't want him doing anything that's going to get him cheers. That's true. He's trying to be a heel. Right. We had uh, Chris Jericho and Bray Wyatt. You know, the more I go through this pay-per-view... I said it wasn't that great. Right. Yeah. Uh, Jericho and Bray, I expected a lot more. I was surprised by the outcome. But I expected I forget more. It was something me and Shalak were talking about. So I was really distracted during this match. I'm trying to do play by play and have a conversation about something important. I don't remember what it was. Right. Because it wasn't that important. But so I didn't get to see a lot of it. But uh yeah, I wasn't surprised that Jericho won, were you? You weren't? No. I wrote in my predictions on eWrestlingNews.com before the show that the plan is for Jericho and Wyatt to do three straight pay per view matches. All right. SummerSlam's the next one, and then the third one's the final one. Obviously, Wyatt has to win the final one, 
if you're going to give, you can't have him win all three, so right. he's got to lose one. Would you rather him lose on a big show like SummerSlam mm. or on Battleground? Obviously Battleground, because he's got to win the last one. So it's either SummerSlam or Battleground that he's losing. You're right. I'd have him win SummerSlam because it's more memorable. It's a bigger show. People will remember that better. You have to have him win the last one because he needs to come out of it on top. Because mm-hmm. he's the guy staying. Jericho's leaving. Right. So if he had to drop one, it would be this one. Now, I didn't expect him to lose clean. Yeah. I thought there'd be some kind of bullshit finish. Miz would get involved. Something would happen and right. would fuck him. But it didn't happen. It seemed, you know, going in, going in, you're mm-hmm. thinking, and, and I was thinking this. All right, Chris Jericho's back in WWE and he's here to put people over. So... And he's, he's said that in interviews, that I'm back, guys that I see potential in, I am going to be here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them over as much as I can. But this was good, and it's a big pet peeve of mine, because guys like RVD, Jericho, they come in clearly saying they're only working a little couple month part-time thing. Uh-huh. And well, yeah, we, WWE's uh, thing is, all right, well, if you're not staying, then let's just use them to get people over. you got to make sure they're over before you have them beat by everybody because then it doesn't help the guys that are beating them because they're beating a nobody that just loses right. all the time. Right. So that's what I like about this is Jericho's still, if you're a new fan and you don't know Jericho from the past, mm-hmm. then, oh shit, he's a guy that beat Bray Wyatt. He's a, he's a big thing. He's a big deal. Right. Right. Now it means something when he puts somebody over because he's the guy that beat Bray Wyatt. Well, and the you fact know. that they're doing, and, and going in, I'm thinking, all right, Bray's probably going to defeat Jericho just due to the fact that Jericho's back to put him over. Yeah. But then... I forgot that they were doing a long term feud where it was gonna it was gonna last, you know, two, three pay per views. I've heard three. And yeah. that makes that makes I mean, listen, Jericho wins the first one. The second biggest pay per view of the year, SummerSlam, it makes sense to have Bray win there, second biggest pay per view of the year. Although I think the second then, biggest pay per view of the year is gonna be United Champions. It's not a champions. Yeah. It's supposed to be because of the network subscribers and everything yeah, else. Yeah, but yeah. alright, so Coming out of SummerSlam, you're one and one, right? Each has got. Whoever so you do the, the grudge the, match, yeah. you do the grudge match, and then night after night of champions, that Raw is Jericho's final night. So you have Bray win again at night of champions, and then Jericho leaves the following night on Raw to go on a Fozzie tour and everything Jericho else. Jericho could even put his career up in the third match. Something like come that. Come out on Raw the next night and say goodbye. Right, and, and, and it makes and Bray... Bray comes out of the feud. Well, we're doing the grudge match. One and one. I won. I defeated you. I'm better than you. You know, Jericho something like that. Could so even, I could even see Jericho over time. How many, how many more times can he come back? This might be it. He says, uh, Jericho said in interviews, though, that, I mean, listen, Jericho's a young guy. It's not like he's, he's only, I mean, he's, he's, not, he's not old, but he's still got a lot of time left. He's in his 40s now, right? Is he in his 40s? I believe so. Yeah? I believe so. I still think he's got... I mean, it wouldn't be this is his final match with WWE. Jericho's got matches left for ages, man. I mean, if he wants to, but I don't know if he wants to. A and B, how many times can you come back and be relevant? Eventually, people are going to stop caring. Every They're going to know, oh, you're only back for, like, The Rock kept doing man. that. And then at one point, a guy like The Rock was booed. Ver- what's that word? Vociferously? I can't think of the right word. Viciously. Vociferously. Vociferously. Viciously I know how to spell is the it. only one I know. Uh, but right, right. I know how to spell it. But no, anyway, listen. You know, the Rock got booed out of the building because he, he would come and leave. And the, uh, after a while, the fans got onto the fact that, oh, we can't enjoy that he's back because we know it. Man, right when we get used to him being here, he's gone again. Yeah, but that's Hollywood and everything. I mean, I guess Chris Jericho could sing music, same right? Thing. They could do the same thing. But it seems like every time Jericho comes back, crowd loves it. The internet goes crazy. Well, he always crazy. finds a cool internet way to come back, too. Right, right, right. He doesn't just come back. Like, he has a cool thing every time. It was right. the... The debut you just watched the other day, his very first debut in WWE. Then there was the Save Us Y2J, the code. That was awesome. Right, right, right. The right. third one's when he came back, he wouldn't talk. He just had that yeah. light-up jacket, and he that would smile, awesome. and he wouldn't say anything. That was good. He was the overly that cheesy baby face that eventually became right. a deal. Right. This time, he came back as a surprise for Bray Wyatt, which was cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, he always finds a cool way to come back, which is why it works. The fact that he's over putting over, over, he's putting over mm-hmm. younger talents. You know what I mean? I like that aspect of it, where he comes back, he puts over Bray Wyatt. And, and Jericho says that I will continue to return, I'll continue to come it. back as long as I see a guy that has potential, and if I think that I can help them out, yeah. and help them further and their career, the and have some fun, then like, no yeah. doubt I'll do it. And, um, and he gets it, because like, I remember hearing him in his interview on his documentary once, he was explaining that when he got fired by Eric Bischoff many years ago, on Raw, as a character in the storyline, uh-huh. he was fired 
being dragged away by security, kicking and screaming and crying and begging on his knees to Bischoff. And right. he said that all the fans would tell him, like, God, how could WWE make you do that? Jericho would just in his own head laugh, like, guys, I'm a heel. Right, I'm right, right. supposed to be a cheese right, ball, right. kicking and screaming on the way out. It's, it's a show, guys. Come on. It's entertaining. He gets it. Come on, man. A lot it's of people are too, like, Bret Hart at Montreal. He ain't oh, losing no God. matter what. Jericho's like, guys, I, I'm a heel. I get it. Brett is Brett takes wrestling way too serious. Super serious. Super serious. He might dude. take it more seriously you can't than anybody even, in You history. can't even joke around. You can't make a wrestling joke to Bret Hart. I don't know about that. But without yeah. him no selling it or they're saying, no, don't don't joke about wrestling. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Alright, we had uh <coughs> Battle Royal for the I C title. Uh they had way better commander. I gotta tell you, the original plan we put up, up put it up on the website, Dolph Ziggler was originally set to win. Uh, Shalik actually broke that story uh, that Dolph Ziggler was oh, yeah, originally planned yeah, 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 yeah. to win at the uh, at the Battle Royal, or uh, the IC title Battle Royal. And uh, they wound up going with The Miz. Um, and it looks I didn't even remember like The Miz was in the match when I was watching it. Maybe I missed it and it was obvious. No, they had him on the outside. I know. I mean, okay. The fact that he was on the outside, I didn't even know. So yeah. that was probably obvious because I'm doing this the whole time. Maybe I didn't catch it. But I right. thought when it was down to Ziggler and, and I forget who the other last guy. Who was the other last guy? It came down to Ziggler. Not Cesaro, right? Cesaro. Ziggler and... Cesaro, right? Slater was in no, there as Cesaro well. Cesaro had gotten eliminated four. earlier. Um, it came down to... Uh, Sheamus. Ziggler Sheamus. and Sheamus. That was it. I thought they were either going to have Sheamus win, Unify, or Ziggler win, and then I started thinking, holy shit, they're going to give it to Ziggler. Yeah. And then Ziggler yeah. throws Sheamus out, and I'm like, wow, Ziggler finally gets something. Nope, there's the Miz. Never what mind. about Slater? What about Slater being in the final four? I think it was just for comedy. I think Slater's the one who eliminated Cesaro. Yes, uh, Slater took out Cesaro, and then I figured on Raw on Monday, Way they were just going to have a guys. beat down. They were just going to have Cesaro come out and beat the shit out of Slater, no, they had but they Flo had Flo Rida and knock him out instead, yeah. right. But uh, uh, the decision to put the strap on Miz, I didn't see it coming. A, going into the match, I thought Cesaro was going to win. Right. Uh, or maybe Ziggler, but I didn't think for a million years they were actually going to give it to Ziggler until he was one of the last two, and then I thought, holy shit, Sheamus already has the belt, they're going to give it to Ziggler. Because I didn't know about the Miz, the, but I guess the plan now the is... The plan as of yeah. Monday was to do Miz and Sheamus. You're going to continue that feud. And unify the belt. And unify the belt, possibly. possibly. Sheamus has been teasing that on Twitter. Following that feud, there are plans to have a Miz Ziggler feud. Now, yeah. of course, they could do Sheamus Ziggler as well, but somebody. And we'll see if Ziggler either. even stays in the plans. Right, right. My birthday is the day before Teresa, August 16th. It's day my before birthday. what? SummerSlam. Is it? Saturday oh, night before Sunday. Happy birthday. Here's a I fucking know. giant work day for you. Here's a whole big work day on, on that Sunday. My birthday's on uh, Saturday, August 16th. It's coming up here, man. Coming up here. All right, and then we had the uh, the main how event. How old are going to be? Uh, 48? 49? 48. 47. I'm house. joking, guys. 48. I, how old am I going to be? It's 2014. I was born in 80, so 34. 34. I was born in 80, and we're in 2014. I forget my age, man. It's I do too. Crazy. I know it's it now because crazy. It's clean thirty, but see, I got. I was born in eighty, so it's an even. It's a nice even yeah, number. Yeah. You just take whatever the bang. year. It's 2014, 34. Yeah. You just take the four. Be thirty-four years old on August sixteenth, man. Oh, motherfucker, man. Woo. Main All event. Right. Uh, main event. It was uh, John Cena, Kane, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns for the WWE title. Listen, exactly. I gotta be honest with you. Going in. I said, you know what? They may pull the swerve here. They may give it to Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns against Brock Lesnar. Two big dudes, right? Reigns, Lesnar. The whole selling point of SummerSlam. Reigns, Lesnar. Makes sense. But. Didn't buy it for a second. They went with. No, you did I buy it. I told I came you. In I here. said Lesnar has to win the title at SummerSlam. I can't see them giving it to Reigns and then have him drop it right afterwards. Now, I do think WrestleMania. Yeah. We're going to see Lesnar Reigns for the title. I'll and go Reigns with that. will probably win it then. I'll go with that. You know. I'm glad that they know, hopefully they know, or hopefully they can see that Reigns isn't ready to no, be WWE he World. He's not ready He's yet. not ready. Crowd's ready He's, for him. The but crowd's they'll be, ready. They'll be more ready by the time. It's like Daniel Bryan, brother. It's like Daniel Bryan, where the crowd is very ready. Similar, yeah. Prolong it, prolong it, very prolong similar. it, prolong it, and then bang, when he wins it. Very similar for the build-up and the crowd reaction. 
but not very similar in the build-up because they buried Daniel Bryan the whole way, hoping the fans would stop right. caring. Right, right. And right. it ended up back, not backfiring, it ended up working better, but by accident. It's not like they planned it all along. Let's right. fuck them and fuck them and fuck them. Right, right, right. right. And, Partially and that was the plan. With Reigns, it's all about so making this guy. They went the extra mile to fuck Bryan. With Reigns, right. they're with making Reigns, sure to take care of him along the way. Making sure to protect him and take care of him. Absolutely. So... They went with what everybody expected to happen, and listen, I know there's a lot of you that are along with me thinking, listen, they've been already promoting, accidentally by the way, already promoting Cena Lesnar, maybe tonight, maybe they're going to pull a swerve. I know there's some of you guys that were thinking that out there, whether you want to admit it or not, but I thought Orton might. Or in somebody. I they might shock it with somebody. Orton. Yeah. And somebody then, different yeah. than Cena Lesnar, which everybody knew going in. Yeah, we know where we already know. Oh, I that's what I did. No, I did swerve. agree that Reigns might win it. Here's what I thought. I thought the promotion was Cena Lesnar, but they never said for the title. You, so you, maybe they do ah, Reigns right, Orton. Right. Reigns wins the belt. They do Reigns Orton at SummerSlam for the title, and they still do Lesnar Cena. It's just not for the belt. So you're right. I right. did buy for a second. That they would do the swerve. That maybe they'll do a swerve. Uh, right. You were right. I was wrong. Motherfucker. Nah, I gotta give it to me, brother. <laughs> All right. Um. So, anyways, it was a good main event. Uh, for for what it was, man. But uh, Cena wound up. You know, Cena wound up winning the match. We had uh, a spot too where Rain speared Orton through the barricade. That was cool. That was that was a cool. Uh, spot. everybody hit their finisher at the end, of course. There was a spot I forgot to talk about it in the uh, in the battle royal. Dolph oh, Ziggler. Kofi Kingston. Dolph Ziggler almost broke his fucking neck. Oh man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody dropped him down, about when man. They, remember they threw Kingston and Biggie caught him on his shoulders. Yeah, like, like yeah. playing chicken in the pool. Right. Yeah, that was a cool spot yeah, too. Uh, but Ziggler, when Ziggler went down, if he didn't t- tuck his neck, I under, remember that. Now you're saying, oh my yeah, yeah. god, man, he, uh, some bitch bounce, he bumps like crazy, dude. He's gonna fuck him it, when he finally retires. He's gonna be so beat to shit. He would have broke his fucking neck he, he if he didn't bumps tuck too much, under. too hard, too dramatic of bumps. Like, yeah. He gets up and then bumps himself. Like he really, dude, it was scary. Beats his body to shit. Absolutely, man. And the spotted battle yeah, that was one was scary. scary yeah. All right, so we had uh, the big spot here was Rain speared uh, Orton through the barricade, like you talked about earlier. Um, it's funny, I'm sitting here drinking beer clearly, mm-hmm. but the chat can tell that I'm sober. They're all. Bro- Surprised that I admitted defeat. How many times have I said I'm wrong? Oh, you right? admit defeat all the time. I say it all the time. You do it. But they can tell that I'm not drunk this week. Is it that obvious? Not drunk? Well, yeah. there's times where you come on here and you're just. I've been loaded out, the last few weeks. I think you're stressed out, man. You've been really stressed I got out today. On, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But right, this wait. is only my third beer, too. That's it? Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, so that was Battleground. Give it a school letter grade, real quick, man. C. Plus. I'll go. Uh, you know what? I said it was a really good show going in. Definitely honest, wasn't really it good. Wasn't a really good show. I'll right. go. Um, I'll go uh, a C C plus. Yeah. Would you say I C said minus? C plus. C plus. Okay. C's an average, right? It was a little Are bit you going C plus? Average. I'll go B minus. I'll go B minus. Yeah. I said it was a little All better right. than average. C plus. So Monday Night Raw from last night. Let's get through the opening segment. We got about two minutes to go here. Then we got to take a quick commercial break. Come back on the flip yes. side. Finish up Monday Night Raw from last night. Take your rapid fire questions and run down the latest news and rumors of the past week. One second. We had uh, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, and Kane. They want title shots, right? Yes. Triple H comes out. They announced on dot com that Triple H was going to open Monday Night Raw. He was going to reveal. John Cena's SummerSlam opponent to open Monday Night Raw last night. Sure enough, Triple H comes out, um, and he is thinking out loud how you know he would he's react to John Cena. Yeah, he's disappointed that Cena won the belt, and he then he starts mocking Twitter and all that shit. Right? He mocked Twitter. He said uh, he said something about my best friend Mark. Maybe my best yeah, friend yeah, yeah, Mark yeah. will watch Monday Night Raw calling all these mother... You're all a bunch of Marks, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Did he say, maybe I'll go on the internet and I'll put it up on Instagram or I'll go on Twitter or Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Send it a was, tweet. Like maybe I'll send a tweet. the words, yeah. how gay the word tweet Dude, sounds. That promo yeah. was awesome, bro. He was just shitting all over all of you, yeah. all over us. He was just shitting internet fans and yeah, the, marks. the internet fan base and the marks. But as uh, he said. so then it builds to he says he's going to announce Cena's SummerSlam opponent. 
Oh, well, right. say that five times fast. Seen a SummerSlam opponent. Seen a SummerSlam opponent. I'm not doing it. Can't be done. Uh, but no, he says he's going to announce the opponent for Cena tonight. Randy Orton. This leads to everybody coming out and campaigning for uh, the spot. Well, Randy comes out and says, tell me you're not going to do this, yeah. man. Well, we he agreed. says he's, he's over the spot because right. he lost the title at WrestleMania. never got a one-on-one rematch yet to this day. Right. You know I deserve it, blah, 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 blah. That brings out Roman Kane, Reigns. Kane comes out. Kane comes out. Yeah. Well, he says, I hope you're not going to give it to Kane. He doesn't deserve it. Something like that. And then Kane comes out. Right. Kane right. has the mask on. He's campaigning. You know, blah, 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 blah. Roman Reigns comes out. Right. He starts campaigning. And then, uh... He says, everybody's sick of John Cena and Randy Orton. We've already seen it before. Nobody yeah. wants to see that again. This, that, and the Nobody other Nobody wants to see, uh... Um, and Triple H basically says, well, you know what? Screw it. When we come back from the commercial break, well, they start that, fighting, right? don't they? They all get into it. Uh, well, Triple H, yeah. Uh, Reigns went uh, and punched, uh, Superman punched, Kane. punched Kane. Superman punched yeah. Kane, and uh, Hunter then gets back on the microphone and says, "You know what? The opening match for Monday Night Raw tonight is going to be Roman Reigns against the Viper, Va- the Viper Randy Orton, and the That's Demon Kane, said. and the Demon Kane, the Viper Randy Orton, mm. and the Demon Kane." So we go to a commercial break, we come back, and it was a two-on-one handicap match. Real quick before we go to the break, you know, and I told the people last night that were listening to the Raw audio stream, they made Roman Reigns, I mean, listen, Roman Reigns, it's two-on-one, you've got a guy that you're trying to build up, right? You've got him in there with two of WWE's top stars right now in story, Randy Orton, one of WWE's top stars, Kane, in storyline right now. Yeah. One of and WWE's. a big fucker, so it right. looks good. Yeah. So you've got Roman Reigns in there, and that was the whole point. You put him two on one, and Reigns is able to defeat them. So him to hold his own and this and that. And, and you're thinking, wow, won. Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns is a guy that is in there with WWE, two of WWE's current top stars right now, and held his own. Basically, you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, there were spots where they beat down Reigns here and there, but Reigns would always make a comeback. And yeah, okay, that's what happened. Uh, Reigns Superman punched Kane, I believe, and then speared him, and Orton left. Like Orton, Orton took left off. Orton left right. Kane hanging. Yeah. So they made Orton. They didn't have to job Orton out. No. But Kane was kind of their guy. Well, yeah, and, they, Reigns, and Reigns didn't out. get didn't get to Orton, which is going to set up Reigns versus Orton at Summer Right, Spring, exactly. Which is there. That's what it looks like. It's going to be Roman Reigns against Randy Orton. It's going to be Dean Ambrose against Seth Rollins. John Cena against Brock Lesnar. And it looks like Stephanie McMahon versus Bree, Bella. Bree, yeah. Bree or Nikki Bella, one of the two. Exactly. All right, we're going to take a uh, quick Bella. commercial break. I think it's going to be Nikki we'll bet and on Bree's that. job yeah. is on the line. We'll see. We'll bet. Uh, Bree's backstage at the uh, SmackDown tapings, by the way. Tonight. Is she? So yes. they'll probably do something. She is uh, backstage. We have it confirmed. Well, um, the very next segment on Raw is the stuff we want to get into, the uh, Bella Stephanie thing. So. Bella's and Stephanie. That was really, really good. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about fire. that next. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. Get on over there. During the break, the post will be up. We want your questions. We want your comments. We'll answer them in a... Rapid style fashion and our numero dos. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Get on over there. You're listening to WZR TV Tuesdays with Matt Boone. Me, Ryan Clark. Him. We'll be back right after this. Back in the building. Oh, shit that fucking happens, dude. It's like, why do you have to vacuum right now? So stupid. Okay. What number one? Why do you have to vacuum right now? The other day, I counted on my door seventeen times Rocking. throughout the door, not including you. She knocked seventeen times, bro. You've knocked on my door about thirteen times. Today I knocked a lot, dude. <laughs> but but the other day, it was seventeen fucking times, uh, dude. I hate that shit. I can't stand being uh, bothered, bro. I got a low tolerance. Fucking bullshit. No, I'm not it's very patient. No. Very stressful, especially when I'm, knows. especially when I'm, when I'm busy. working and yeah. I'm busy and I'm stressed and I gotta get shit up. He's doing a live chat room. WZR Online dot com slash chat. WZR Online dot com slash chat. Take it. That's what's your face. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind? Hi guys. Jackie. Jackie. How are you? Long time, no here. Where you been? What's going on? I've been I've been pretty busy. 
busy, guys. I've been um, busy with school and stuff, and I've been uh, watching a lot of the WWE Network. Sorry, I haven't called in a long time. It's just that That's all right. Watching a lot of... Watching a lot of WB Network. Are you watching a lot of WZR TV Network? I mean, we've been. Uh, hey, do you even watch anymore? I I have to. I haven't listened to you guys in a while because I've been busy helping my mom and stuff. That's cool. And my grandma just recently moved in, and I've been uh, I've been hired to do. I've been doing a lot of baby hats. I've been loom knitting as of late. And I'm I'm in focus on getting on a job, and um, hopefully I'll be getting one after I get out of school. Well, good for you. Good for you. That's good. Well, it's good to hear from you again. I'm glad you finally called us back up. We've missed you. The yes. army, the army's missed you. Chat Everybody in going the nuts right chat now. room, chat room's going crazy right now, saying Jackie's back. I believe it. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's on your mind in the world of WWE and professional wrestling today, Mister? I wanna, I wanna hear about I, this I, Rusev Lana I'm getting, stuff. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of the, of the bullshit I've been hearing about Rusev and Lana. Uh -oh. I happen to like them very much. I'm getting sick of some of the stuff I'm hearing. You're hearing she made a mistake Sunday night. She, I, I think she feels bad about what she did, and on top of that. You know, I don't want to see them get fired because I happen to like them very much. They remind me of a lot of the couples that came before them. So if anyone has a problem with me being a fan of theirs because a couple of my friends happen to like them, then tough shit. You know what? I'm not a traitor to my country. I happen to like Russia, Russian people. So that's pretty much it on that. I'm sick of hearing all these stuff like, oh, she said something terrible. She made a mistake, okay? I followed her on Twitter along with Rusev. I read what, what she wrote the day after the plane crash that she, her thoughts and prayers were the people that were whose lives were lost. They, and people are disrespecting her. It's getting it's getting on kind of my damn nerves. <laughs> now but, I happen I happen to like them very much, and I'm you know I hope I can meet them one day because every time I see those two, they remind me of a little bit from well, Randy a little bit. Well, but I never Jackie. had a chance to meet them because they're both dead. Jackie, if you did meet them in person, uh, in real life, what would you say to them? I would say it's very nice to meet you both. I happen to like you two very much on Raw SmackDown and Main Event. And I don't like how people treat you. Jackie! It, I, I thought you hated them. Jackie, do you blame... Let me ask you this, though. Do you blame Lana and, and, and Rusev, or do you blame Lana for the promo, or do you blame the creative writers who write what Lana's saying? Do you, do you, do you blame her, or, or is it the writing team in Vince McMahon that comes up with this stuff and, and tells her what to go out there and say? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't blame either one of them. Okay, she made a mistake, okay? She didn't mean what she said. And I know that some people think that it's the creative team's fault, but even though I know this is just a storyline, because I remember that whole thing that was going on with Sergeant Slaughter and Hulk Hogan back before WrestleMania 7. How right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I remember hearing the interview with, him, with Ivory and Michael Cole a couple of years ago, because I really didn't remember much of that when I was little, because I was like four or five years old at the time. You got a good memory. And I'm like, okay, the same thing's going to start happening to them, and I want to know what WWE is going to do to protect them them in case there's any kind of threat made towards them because I'm worried for their safety. Well, I, th I, I, I think I think what's what's happening now is they're going to, uh, they're going to, they're going to kind of wrap up the angle, you know what I mean? Don't know yet. Uh, oh, they're going to, they're going to well, wrap up the angle and... and <laughs> Jackie, are you are you on a cell phone? Your your phone's getting choppy. Are you on a cell phone? I'm on a, uh, yeah, uh, my fan's on in my bathroom. It's getting it's it's getting hey, hey, do do us a favor and call us back because we your your phone's real choppy, alright? We're gonna we're gonna have to you're gonna have to call us back. Oh, that's me. Oh it is. No, it's Oh, the computer froze. What the hell did I... I didn't even do anything. Is it doing the same thing it did the other night? No. Yeah. It's doing the same thing. 
Wow. Well. Wow. Just out of nowhere. That's what I was telling you the other night. I didn't do anything. It just started fucking up. It was lagging. I can see it in the uh, in the chat room. We may try to X out. Uh, yeah, try to try to X out Skype. <coughs> was here. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? Let me see here. Unexpected error encountered in encoding process. It looks like we just got disconnected and reconnected. Can't really tell. Not quite sure what's going on, folks. Stay tuned. Stick with us. We're trying to figure this out. My guess is we're going to have to cancel from right now and come back tomorrow. I'm not sure. It's still laggy. Well, it went back to normal, but then the camera cut off out of the blue, but now it's back. No, it's, it's back. It's as good long now. as uh, is the computer running good? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're good now. We may, uh, we may, we may have a problem with, uh, with the archive. Um, everybody says that the, uh, the video went down. But the audio That's, was the up. camera went completely. You see, the yeah, blue, yeah, yeah. see the blue light? Right, right. It went right. All, it, like here's what happened. The computer got better. It was doing like this. <laughs> right. See how it's better right now? Yes. Well, yes. it did this a second ago. It was better. Okay. But then the camera shut off. Right, right, right. And it got laggy again. Yes. But then the camera came back on. That's now, what they're saying. And now it's fast again. Okay. So, so I don't. Did, did we lose them when the camera went no, off? No, 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 no. Are still They heard us. The audio, the audio was fine the entire time. Okay. Audio was good to go. Gotcha. The video was lagging behind the audio. All right. And then the video cut out for a brief second, but then the video came back, and I yes. think the video and the audio is now back, and we are good to go. That makes sense. What happened? Yeah. I, what do you mean? What happened? You see me sitting here. What no, was it the phone call? Did Jackie screw us? How the hell? Did Jackie call up and and, and hijack? A, use the R for five minutes. A, she's listening and she'll take that serious. You better tell her you're joking. Jackie, Obviously, you. nothing we with her you. call screwed my computer up. Uh, <laughs> B, joking. I don't know what happened. My computer sucks. It does suck. I need to just get a new one because I've run a million virus scans. Or, oh, format maybe. It Should was. I go check to see if everything's running? Make sure smooth. we're still on okay. right now. Yeah. Okay. Talk about Jackie. I'll, there's nothing to talk about Jackie. Here, I'll talk about Jackie. We left that call on way too long. <laughs> I kept telling him, let's wrap it up. And he says, no, 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 not yet, not yet. We're not interviewing the caller. It's nice that she's back and everything, but you kind of have to take that stuff in doses. Uh, if you had the it's still real to me guy, damn it guy himself calling every week, it'd be funny first few weeks, and it'd get old. So you got to make it quick. Keep it moving. Keep it snapping. Keep it popping. Like the same way he should be quickly checking that he can still hear my voice right now, and then getting back in here so we could do a show. As opposed to leaving me sitting here and trying to stall and talk about nothing for a very long time. Here he comes. How are we looking? Good to go. All right. Let's do a show. Okay. We are back up and running. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're good to go now, though. I th there's Maybe it's Skype, man. Maybe there's a problem with Skype. Maybe we should uh, we'll look into I've getting... I've told you a million times. My computer will randomly do it. Even when we're not doing just a show. I don't know where. There'll be times where I'm not even on the web browser. I'll just be watching VLC Media Player, like watching right. The Office or something. Yeah. It'll just start happening. And it just lags like There'll that. There'll be other times where I won't even have VLC open or a browser. Weird. I'll just have Winamp open. That's weird, I man. have a random virus that just somehow creeps in and starts fucking slowing me down and screwing me up out of nowhere. Mm. And then it'll go away. Hmm. And then it'll come back. And then it'll go away. Well, sometimes, back now. Sometimes it doesn't go away. It's we're good to go. totally unpredictable. I have no idea what it is or can how I to fix it. Can I say this? We were this close to losing them tonight, man. We were this close to losing, losing. you guys. Losing. Oh, I just predicted we were going to have to cancel, so. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah, again, no. I'm wrong. Yes. You weren't right, though, because you didn't get to say that I was wrong earlier. I'm glad we didn't stop the stream, but we're still I almost going did. Out. We'll see what the archive looks like tomorrow. No. Anyways, what, uh, anyway. where do we right. oh, Raw uh, left off. Back to Monday Night Raw. The the best Thanks for the call, Jackie. It's good having you back, and we want to hear from you yes. every week. Man. Maybe not ten minutes every call. Right, right. But well, it's nice to hear. We want to hear from our Jackie. Yes. We love, we love you, Jackie. So, all right, we left off with. Uh, we went to a commercial break right after the whole opening segment of Monday Night Raw, and then we came back. It was Roman Reigns. No, we got the match out. Of oh, the we way. got the match out of the way. Okay. Then we get into the, good the whole Nikki Bella against the Divas, yeah. right? Well, so backstage before a commercial, Stephanie, well, we see four Divas. Eva Marie, Rosa Mendez, Alicia Fox, and Cameron. 
I believe was the fourth one. Okay. Four Divas standing around talking. Stephanie walks up, basically tells them, are you ready for your match? Four on one handicap match against Nikki Bella. Yes. We go to commercial. We come back. Come back. Four Divas come to the ring. Yep. Nikki Bella comes to the ring, and then Stephanie's music hits. Well, we had Stephanie seen Brie in the crowd before this. Brie had a ticket. Yeah, yeah. While this is going on, we see the okay. four Divas come out. Nikki comes out, hugs Brie in the crowd. You're right. And then Stephanie's music hits. She comes down and stands right next to Brie on the outside of the of the ring. Right. In the crowd. Stephanie sees Brie in the crowd and says, what the fuck is yes. Brie doing here, even though she's got a ticket? Yeah. Uh, that's when Stephanie... She tries to kick her out. Brie says, I've got to show her her ticket. She says, all right, we'll sit down and you're blocking everyone's view. Blocking everybody's view. So as Stephanie turns to walk away off mic, Bree says, "You're such a bitch." You're such a bitch, right? Everybody right. pops, and huge pop. Awesome. Uh, right. Stephanie turns around and uh, she says, I, "Would you? Would you say to something me something like that? What did you just say to me?" Yeah. Oh no, this is when she said the ticket stuff. Sit down, take your shit. And then uh, as she was saying that, Bree grabs the mic out of Steph's hand. And says, the only reason you're doing this is because I smacked blah, 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 blah. Right. Uh, and then she says, and you're a vindictive bitch. Again. And this one she said on mic. Right. right. Uh, as soon as she said it, Stephanie smacked her real oh. hard. Everybody in the crowd almost reacted like if it was like a real life thing. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. she really smacked her, so that's why. And then Brie immediately launches back at her to try and scratch her fucking eyes out for right. smacking her. Right. Uh, security takes her Let out. Say Stephanie this. taunts before, her. Before this, Stephanie, you know, before the whole slap, Stephanie had said... You know, real smart move, Bree. You wound up quitting to save your boyfriend, and your boyfriend, you know, is now out with an injury. So you didn't even have to quit. She bring you didn't up? have to defend him. She said it was that was that was a real smart move, Bree. Yeah. You know, kind of rolled her eyes and things like that. So that's where. Yeah, okay. So yeah. And they so got then, into uh, it. After right. she flips out. After Stephanie's Mac, their brief flips out. They, security does take her out. Takes her out. We go. Stephanie says, "Now let that be a lesson to all of you. Ring the bell." Right. Match right. starts within 20 seconds. They beat Nikki Bella down. Pinner, Nikki's destroyed. They throw right. her out of the ring. Right. Stephanie goes to walk by her, stops in front of her, and says, Basically, this is going to continue until you do what your sister did and quit. And so basically, she's right. saying, I'm going to kick your ass or have your ass kicked. Have your ass week. kicked. Every I'm going to make your life miserable till you can't take it and say, Fuck it, I right. quit. Right, exactly. basically the storyline. Exactly. Can we fast Stephanie forward to where this man back later? Or? Was amazing. Amazing. Here, bro. So was she Brie. was so and Bria as Brie well, too? dude. And listen, you know, we we talk about it week after week. I don't like oh, Stephanie McMahon. I think she was very mean to Bree, and Bree didn't do anything to bother her. <laughs> uh, what? I'm just listen. I do characters. We know you, you do characters. Yes. What? Well, who do. was I doing? Right I there? don't know who you do. I know exactly <laughs> who you were doing. But she may be listening live tonight. I know. I know. And, and, and if you'd think that, then why would you make all that goddamn face? We love you, Jackie. Yes. We love you. All right, we had. Uh, all right, so yes, we can to say we fast forward. We fast forward. Anything. We can't take callers for the rest of the show. We can, and unless you can get business. Facebook up on this, no rapid fire. We had to. Uh, oh, we can load a browser. That's very risky right now. Load a browser with this program going. It's very, very risky right now. Load a browser. One browser. Do you think it's gonna lag on us if yeah. we load it? I don't. I think okay. we can. I think we can load a browser. If That's this true. program wasn't open, I'd be fine with it. But both at the same time. Boom! Doesn't prove on yet. It takes a while. What are you talking about? The it, browser loaded right up. I didn't say the browser wouldn't load. I'm saying it's gonna lead to problems. Oh. It'll fucking start slowing up in a little bit. Again. You think so? That's my prediction. No, I think we're good All to right. go. We got to be able to do rapid fire. Bang! Right onto my Facebook page. Good to go. Alright, yeah. No, it's gonna load. I didn't dispute that. For now, for now, yeah. I know. But it may cause we'll a lot of later. Alright, no yeah. doubt. Alright, so we're good to go. <laughs> Alright, but listen, fast forward to later in the night. Still no calls. Though. With Stephanie. Yeah, later in the no night. Calls. No, no, no. Fast forward to well, later in the night. What Stephanie match was and Brie. going on when it happened? I think no, no oh. match got to go on. It was. Um, we can scroll It was down during there. what? It wasn't a page. It'd be one of these uh, without a bold header. Hold on. Oh, okay. Um, right there. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was after. Oh, Flo Rida. She introduced Flo, Stephanie Man. And I was wondering, too, why is Stephanie personally introducing Flo Rida instead of Justin Roberts? Right. Right. Like, she never does that. So that was that tipped you off a little yeah. bit. And yeah. then after his performance, she says, let's have it here one more time for Flo Rida. Right. She's outside the ring on the mic. All of a sudden, we see these two dudes talking to her. And then she's got this bald headed black dude next to her, her right. being Stephanie. 
bald headed black dude's clearly on her side. Yes. The yes. other two dudes who we see the back of their heads talking to her. Right. Uh, you, you don't really know what's going on. No microphones, no nothing, so it's just kind of I happening. was confused. Yeah, you had to ask time, me what I'm thinking, it was. Yo, what is going on right well, now, Because sometimes you're not watching the screen, so right. you missed it. They had flashed the badge. Right. Stephanie said, some, let me see some identification. I thought it was a passport. Yeah. I'm thinking, Because it should be explained that the cops weren't in uniform. They were in suits. Yeah, so right. it, was like, it was almost like detectives. Right. Right. Uh, basically, the storyline of what had happened was... Brie Bella got pissed that she got smacked and called the cops on Stephanie. And ejected out of the arena. And press yeah, charges. took her out. Press charges. So, so, yes. Yeah, so, Stephanie's talking to the cops. They're in, reading her rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to right. return. Right. You can't afford one. Right. They put her in cuffs. Take her to the back. Take we go her to out. commercial. When we now, come back Triple H is there. When we come back from okay. commercial, Triple okay. H is there. Triple H is there, and he's saying, you know, just... Go down to where they're going to take you. I'm already. I've already talked to Jerry. He kept mentioning Jerry. Jerry McDivitt. and uh, Jerry McDivitt yeah. as is WWE's main he's their head lawyer. It has so been for decades. They tr- decades. Yeah. So they tried to make this into kind of a worked shoot type deal, where by bringing Somewhat, up the name, I mean, by bringing up the name Jerry, tried to make it reference. look like it was the, yeah. the a shoot reference to. To, to Jerry and Triple um, H all the while saying is you sure you want to do it with his arms stretched out you sure you want to do this guys this is a career this is what they call Stephanie, it. Stephanie. this is what they call a career move right, right. Right. basically Stephanie. saying like, yo I can get you fired Stephanie McMahon said uh, at one point do you know who I am yeah. do you know do you know who I know in Miami she played huh? it perfect she she by the time awesome, she went bro. from you can't do this to me how dare you don't you know who I am to starting to get scared during the walk right to, by the time she's getting close to the car and realizes this is this something is she no can't joke. fix. Right, right. My power doesn't help me here. She started, I can't make it in jail. Right, what am I going to do? I don't, don't want to spend I don't want to go to jail. Like she started just completely, you know, freaking so, out. So, WWE.com. Very well done. WWE.com put an up an, put up an article today. Uh, Triple H went to the police headquarters yeah. last night well, around 1 a.m. 1 a.m. And at 4 a.m., Stephanie McMahon um, posted bail and yeah. was released. We well, skipped so. ahead. So, all right. So, during the show, when we come back from all of that, we go backstage. Triple H is in his office on the phone talking about how he's going to be right there. I'll be right there, blah, 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 right. blah. Joey right. Mercury walks in. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I know this is a bad time and everything, but what's your decision? Because he had promised uh, an announcement For on SummerSlam. Slam. Right. What's your decision going to be? And, and Triple H is like, are you kidding me? Right, right. It's a bad time. His family always comes first. Family right. comes first, this and that, blah, 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 blah. As he goes to leave, he stops and says, you know what? Well... They got a processor. Right. Um, right. It's going to be a little bit. Her lawyers are there. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, I'll go make around. my announcement. I'll stick around. Yeah, I'll go to the ring right. when I make up my my mind, and I'll make my announcement. Then I'll go help her. Speaking of agents, how about, Rick, how about Ricky Steamboat being released and then Wasn't it reported rehired? that he wasn't? He was released. And rehired like and Emma? And then they rehired him, just like really? Emma. I didn't just hear the like second part. I, knew, I heard like, he got released, but I didn't know that he got it's released. It's almost like somebody's making the uh, decision to fire them, and then Vince McMahon catches wind of yeah, it. Yeah, like, no, saying, no, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not getting rid of Steamboat. Would that or, be a Triple a H thing? Because isn't he in charge of talent? Right. I think it's Laurinaitis that, that no, is no, still no, in Lauren charge. No, 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 in charge of talent. I'm, no, no, no. He got, he got taken out of that, and then he got brought back as like a different kind of role. You know who it is? Who made the re- the recent calls? The recent roster cut calls, man. They said the name. Somebody came out and said that I got a call from this guy. I can't remember who it was. It was somebody that was featured on the Total Divas reality show. Oh, Mark, whatever. Mark uh, somebody. Yeah, yes. no. He's a also Mark he's somebody. a talent guy also, but he works directly under Triple H. Triple right. H is in charge of talent. But and this Mark Lame Mark not Layman. That's Mark somebody, guy. bro. You're right. Fuck, I know you're who you're right. talking about. The guy on Total Divas, Mark. Yes. I'm not gonna get it. If the I'm chat sure. was up, they'd help us. But uh, anyways, yeah, Mark guys, he's, he's the guy. Mark Carano, Carano, yes, yes, yes. He's the guy that makes the phone calls uh, to to you know release talents and things like that, right? And we haven't talked about this yet either, as far as MMA. UFC's meeting with Gina Carano this week mm-hmm. to it didn't sign her. Go well? No, it did. Oh, it did go well. It did go well. Okay, it hasn't happened yet, but the t- talks have gone well. Dana's very confident he's going to sign her. Okay, and it's Holly- already. Holly Holmes already signed. Awesome. Gina Carano is the famous actress that used yeah, to be fighting. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows Gina, the right? The fucking MMA chick in the world. Yeah. If she signs, which by all accounts it looks like she's going to, uh-huh. immediate title shot against Ronda Rousey. Against Rousey. So and it would be right happening there. in early December of this year. I don't... So, Holly Holmes. Within four to five months, we might actually see 
Ronda Rousey versus Gina Carano. That's a huge... I think... That's the biggest women's fight of all time. Of all time, no doubt. Easily. But I think Holly Holm, people yeah. don't give her enough credit, no, dude. People give her and credit. She's I think, undefeated. I think, I think Holly's got more of a shot to beat. But Gina Carano is going to get murked by Gina Rousey. Gina Carano and Rousey is a Gina money fight. Carano, it's a money fight, but Gina's going to get murked. Her. And it makes me sad to see somebody as hot as Gina. Me too. Fuck that. Do you remember when oh, Gina Carano <laughs> fought Cyborg? <laughs> yeah, man. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I wanted dude. to cry. Oh. And Ronda's going to beat her up even worse. Mm. So the only thing that's 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 interesting. Put her in an armbar real quick and don't damage yeah, that face. But not even then. Some girls don't tap. Like Misha Tate's hot as shit. Misha Tate wouldn't tap her arm. Her, tap her arms all fucking and ripped up. It's, it's yeah. even sadder. Gina's the same way. You know it hurts so bad. And she's so pretty. You want yeah. to just, Are you okay? <laughs> you know. But they're women. They're supposed to be tough. You're supposed to love. But no. Uh, Ronda Rousey stand up. As much as everybody's saying it's getting better and it's this and that. It's not good. Not that good? No. In training, when you watch her spar and hit the mitts and stuff, she's got great form, great combos. She's awesome. Right. In a fight, right. she just kind of... Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Like a girl. Like, she just throws crazy. She's right. committed to throwing punches, and right. they're good punches, but she leaves her chin way up, her defense yeah. sucks, yeah, it's not and good, she can huh? be hit. Yeah. Her thing is she walks through them, yeah. and then grabs a hold of you and throws you. Throws in. you down. and, and right, Gina right. Carano is a kickboxer. Yeah. And a damn good one. Kicks to the face or what? Punches, my kicks, more, yeah, yeah. body kicks, leg kicks. She can kick to the face. I've never seen her kick anybody in the head, but uh, yeah. great kickboxer. Yeah. So if one place that Ronda Rousey can beat it's standing up. Now can Gina stop her from taking her down? Absolutely right. not. Yeah, yeah. All the yeah. question That's is, gonna be the problem. Can Gina make weight? Mm. Gina had trouble making one forty-five many times. Mm. This would be one thirty-five, mm. and she hasn't fought Jeez. in how many years? Got to go down even more. Huh? So when she was in shape and only fighting and not doing acting, she was just a women's fighter. But who's to say she's not still in shape right now? You know, I mean, I'm trying to explain look? that even when she was active and fighting for a living, well, not doing sure. anything but fighting, she couldn't make one forty-five when it was her job just to fight. No movies. No. This is all I do every day: is train and fight, train and fight. She couldn't make one forty-five when that was her job, training that hard. Four fights all the time. Now, she hasn't fought in several years. She's going to come back for the first time. Even if she's been staying in shape in their off time, she's not training as hard as what she was when it was her job. How do you so, know she doesn't weigh 135 right now? Because you know, she's not her walk around weight. It would be right. the same way as saying, how come you know that when GSP walks around, he's not at 170 pounds? Because he's like a 210 pound guy that cuts to make 170. Gina was a 150 pound, 145 pound chick. That had trouble making 145. Okay. When she was training every day. Now she hasn't been training for years. And even if she has, it's not as strict as she was when she was fighting. And when she was fighting, she was having trouble making 145. Now she's got to make 135. Okay. And she hasn't been training in forever. So right. it's going to be interesting. I haven't seen any recent photos of Gina. She's still know hot what? and in shape. Well, yeah, yeah, but, but not what fighting she's shape. At. Right, right, right. Two different kinds of in shape. Back to uh, Raw. Would you take a Flow Rider on Raw? I thought he tore the house down, man. I, didn't I really, mean, it's Flow Rider. I took that as a fucking chance to take a great break. <laughs> I think I ate some food or something. You gave some pizza, right. remember? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was Battle. Was that Battle Green or That Raw? was uh, Saturday night pizza. Sunday pizza. night. Pizza. I'm talking about when you heated it up. Oh, heated pizza up? That was Battleground. That was Saturday Battleground. Night. All right. right. So right. last night I ate something. I think right. I made a PB and J or something. I thought Flow Rider tore the house down, man. I heard it. It, it was, was decent. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And good. he had the chicks singing the hooks and stuff. Right, right. A couple chicks out there. Um, we had, let's see. Oh, how about this? So Xavier Woods comes out. We're just doing the high points oh, and the low points. But right. Xavier Woods comes out and he cuts this heel promo. And he's got a whole new look with the glasses and the whole shorts. new look. Yeah. And he's out there with Biggie and um, Kofi. Kofi. Yeah. And remember when Biggie cut that promo a couple of weeks ago? Uh, uh, you, uh, 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 then when I get into the ring, uh, uh, right, right, like a reverend. So we've heard, we've heard, and it was our truth was the other one, right? It was Woods. There was no our truth yet, but he's rumored to be part of it. Okay, yeah. Mark Henry Mark as Henry well. Too, yeah. When Mark Henry comes back, well, Mark he's Henry would be, be the only one that was part of the original. Now everybody thought Nation of Domination. We haven't got to it yet. And but. everybody thought, and including myself, I said, "What is this? What is going on right now?" And I came in here. Oh. I came in here, and you said, "You know what it is." And you even thought about it for a second before you came out. No, you said, "You know what?" You said, "You know what?" I don't know. When I came in here, I said, what was that all about? And you said, I don't know. And then as I was walking out the door, you said, yo, you know what? That's the Nation of Domination thing that they've been talking about doing. I said, you know what? 
You're fucking right. I don't bro. remember you coming in and saying anything. I remember going in your room and just saying, "You know what that was, right?" And then when I said, "No, I came in here." When I said "Nation," you said, "Oh yeah, that's probably what it is." I came in here and I okay. said, "What was that all about, man?" And you said, "You said." You had a different question. That's right. You you had asked me about something, and it was nothing to do with what were they doing right there. Or what was that? Get? You had something that you said, and I said, "I don't know." I said, but you know what that was, right? Well, whatever it was, yeah. you you said new nation of domination, yeah, 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 yeah. and we had put that up. I remember that was a rumor something. for a while, right, right. And last night, it seems like they're going that route Clearly. with a new nation yeah. of domination. Now, whether they call it that. Acknowledge you know, the old nation or whatever. It's clearly going to be a group of, of black dudes uniting and and it comes about a week. Black. It comes about a week after all these media articles oh. came out saying racism in WWE over the past week or two. There's I remember been the one numerous. There was one Henry had, talking about Silverback Gorilla. You had Henry talking about the Gorilla. There was another one where there's a video inside the article. I think it was from the. I want to say the that was Daily, the Huffington Post. The Daily Mirror, I think, was another one that put the it up. The video was the Huffington Post with Crime Time and no, everybody no, no. else. Huffington Post Live was Mark Henry and Coco Beware, but that was right. the video. That was the Huffington Post. There was yeah, another yeah. one, and it was like three pages long, who? and it looked at all these black athletes that had been in WWE, Crime Time. JTG, Shad Gaspard, Mark Henry was featured in that one as well. But I know where Mark Henry referenced the gorilla, the silverback, yeah. and the gorilla and everything else. But um, yeah, there were a couple of different articles about racism in WWE. I think Brian Fritz even interviewed, I don't remember who it was, whether it was R-Truth or Mark Henry or somebody like that. And he brought it up as well. So in the last... I don't know, I would say two weeks or so. There's been a couple of different articles on it's racism a topic that comes in up WWE. Once in it's a, a topic that comes up, but it's interesting to like I remember two months ago, three months ago, Ahmed Johnson, a guy from way the fuck back in the day, the Pearl right. Rock Plunge, you remember that dude? Yeah. He, yeah. he talked about racism in WWE. It's just any black guy right. that was held down or thought they were held down. or whatever. Ron Simmons brought it up in a recent interview, too. That might be one of the ones you're talking about. Okay. This was recent, recent. Ron Simmons. R right. So there was a couple recently. You're right. But it's it's been some recent things. And it's like, That's what I'm okay, saying. You're right. Look, Ron look, Simmons was one, too. I remember look, that now. Look back at the Rusev Lana stuff, you know, recent, and then you get all the media articles surrounding it. All of a sudden, the angles dropped. But this Bunch of media media articles about yeah. racism in WWE. All of a sudden, you've got a black stable in WWE. Well, where this was planned for a while, like you said. Right, right, and right. maybe they just haven't got a chance to get to it yet. Because guys Could like be that too. Big E was locked into the thing with Rusev. And then uh, Kofi was too. locked into the thing with Cesaro. Maybe he had to wait for the time. to. And Xavier Woods was locked in with the Could fucking dactyls and all that. I'm just... Now I'm that they're broken up, maybe now they have time to actually... All right, now we can do it. Could be that. Or, like I'm saying, it could be... You know, it's it's all I'm saying is media. it's interesting timing it is interesting that timing. this group is coming in now after a bunch of recent media articles. So, um, what else happened on Raw? Cap? We had Kali and Rusev do two big guys. You get the idea there. No, right? I thought it was good. To put Rusev over. <laughs> was it a five star ring quality work ethic or ring work? What do you call it? Work. Five star match. No, no. When you talk about someone's work ability, what do you talk? Their in ring skills. Ethic. What called? No, their work, work ethic. Work. Uh, work rate. Okay. Work their rate. Work rate. Yeah. No, it was no fucking five star work rate match, but it did make Rusev look like a fucking beast. That's the point of it, right? Not only did he beat Kali, but he made him tap out, and that big right. fucker's tapping. It makes you look like a killer. Well, that's the point you of know. it. You've got two big guys, right? And you're exactly. trying to put over Rusev. You have him in there with Usually a guy like Kali. Usually, when you Kali, have a Kali match, guy. though, it's a win by DQ, or if it's a battle royal, right. it takes 18 guys to put him over the top. Or this it's comedy guy, or something like that with Kali. Very you know? usually comedy. Right. Or battle, right. battle royal, 18 guys. They just did it the other night. 18 guys. Are him over Rusev right. took him apart by himself and yep. made him tap out. Yep. I think that's good. And that's another thing. We were talking about Roman Reigns with the handicap yes. match earlier in the night. When Not every Roman match Reigns. has to be a five star match. Right, right. right. You're telling stories. I thought that exactly. was a great story. Rusev you're to th you know, taking the monster down, showing he's a monster. Himself. You're you're trying to put you're trying to put Rusev over as the guy that is a beast. He's and a killer. To take yeah. out a guy like Kali. Exactly. Trying to make Roman Reigns look like a star. Put him in there with Randy Orton and, and Kane and have him basically defeat both. Of them. Randy Orton walks out, but he takes out Kane. We had uh Well there was a segment we missed here. Cesaro okay. backstage saying he's no longer oh, a Paul Heyman that's guy. Right. That was another big guy. Uh, yeah. Big, so well, that, that was happened. good last time, man. Yeah. No, there's a lot of storyline yeah. advancements. They're really right. clearly setting everything up for SummerSlam last night, as opposed to waiting until right. you're a week out and then start announcing <laughs> shit. It's like they actually started because right. we had reported they had had 75 percent of the main shit, including mm. finishes, 
right. for SummerSlam booked, yep. completely locked in and set. Yep. So last night, because they have it booked, locked in and set, they could start going that you way. Go with it, man. As opposed to just doing it. stuff and saying, "Let's see where we can Let's, get out of not this." Not only that, dude, but you've got a four or five week build from now until SummerSlam. I think it's four weeks. Well, uh, that SummerSlam's August seventeenth, twentieth. The 17th? 16th is my birthday, 17th. so the 17th is okay, uh, yeah. right. So but uh, got four weeks. Well, the thing is, SummerSlam, I think the reason that they booked a show that big that far in advance and mm-hmm. like fully booked it with finishes and everything right. was because they know that Night of Champions is the show. Right. And they know the network subscriptions are up, so they need to find out what are they going to do to convince people to re-sign up. True. Well, SummerSlam is before then, so we got to figure out where we're going by SummerSlam so that we know what we're doing to get these people to re-sign. So we have to set right. up some big shit, have it start tonight, build through SummerSlam, and SummerSlam, then really and cook then up really crank for it Night up of Champions. going into Night of Champions yeah. so that these people, that their subscriptions are if expiring. You didn't, yeah, yeah. But like we talked about last week, their subscriptions are going to be expiring. Basically, the people who say right it's a six-month commitment, that first huge surge of sign-ups. Right. That's coming to an end by night. Exactly. Uh, and then the main event of Raw, before we get into Rapid Fire, we got about 10 minutes to get through uh, Rapid Fire for you guys. But uh, Triple H chooses, I guess, Plan B failed at uh, Battleground. Uh, so Plan C, right? And then out comes uh, Paul Heyman. Out Hayman comes and Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman was awesome. As usual. He was awesome once As again. As usual. Stephanie McMahon and Paul Heyman on the microphone last night killed it. I'm trying killed to remember it, what he killed said. Killed it, killed it, man. Um, well, Randy Orton's music hit. Randy Orton comes out, right? Uh, just like he did in the uh, in the opening segment of Raw. Says, "Listen, I'm you know Roman Reigns as well. I think uh, Roman Reigns rushed out, and they uh, they broke out into a brawl. It was uh, Randy Orton and Roman Reigns break into a brawl. So they kind of got them out of there. You know what so I mean? That's to what open was. Raw. To open so Raw Heyman, then, yeah, So then Heyman came out. And then and Heyman comes out. He introduced the video package to remind everybody what Brock Lesnar's capable of. And they showed right. Brock Lesnar beating Undertaker, ending the streak, and said that he's a conqueror of streaks or things that are important or whatever. This That was the basic gist. Right. And then he basically said, Cena has had 15 championship reigns in 10 years. Right. Now that's something to conquer. Right. Right. So that's one right. thing that Heyman didn't say, and I was waiting for him to say it, but he's mentioned the word "I guarantee," and he didn't say. He came very spoiler. close. Yeah. He came, or, or spoiler. Maybe that's what it he was. He didn't say it. Spoiler, he came but. very close last night to saying spoiler alert or "I guarantee" yeah. that Brock. But he didn't say it. He 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 came as close as you could possibly. You want me get to? I will. Brock Lesnar, I give you a spoiler guarantee that Brock Lesnar's beating Cena for the title. You know what the so. you know what the deal with that is? Or okay. the champions. You know what it is? He's working Check both. this out. Check this out. Let's say that Brock Lesnar takes the title. You know damn well, and it's gonna happen. I mean, John Cena's still a pretty young guy, but John Cena's gonna get that title again. And, and when he gets the mm. title the next time, he takes over Ric Flair. He ties it. And no, he's tied right now. Uh, Sixteen times is Flair. He's fifteen. Oh, he's 15? Times. Yeah. All right, so he ties it, and you know he's that he's going to beat it. That's why they've been uh, making such a big deal of the number. Most right. guys, they don't say he's an eight time or a thirteen right. time. They might throw it out here and there, but they don't make it a huge part of his character. You know what? Let me ask you something, man. I'm Let done me ask talking. You now you can go. Fifteen. Oh, you've cut me off a lot tonight. So have you. Fifteen, twenty years from now, when we look back, uh-huh. well, we. Huh. Huh? Give me a motherfucker. Uh, 15, we look 20 back. years from now. I know we're looking back right now on Ric Flair's 16 time world champion, blah, blah, blah. When we By the way, back, that's not the official number. Okay. That's the number on the record, but I'm Flair's not talking. Bigger. So when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> no. <clears throat> All right, listen up. When we look back 15 or 20 years from now, we I think we're all going to look back and say, you know what? John Cena was a beast back in the day. The, the the amount that he did for the company, the amount of travel, the amount of, just everything that he's done for WWE. I think when we look at it now, we say we just both rolled our eyes at the fact that John Cena was going to beat Ric Flair's record eventually. I still do. 20 years from now, I don't think we're going to be rolling our eyes. I think I we're going to put John Cena right up there as Ric Flair as a workhorse, a guy. We, right now, none of us, all of us are going to roll our eyes. But I think 20 years from now, Right now, I'm not rolling. My, I'm rolling my eyes right now in the sense that I just don't like that he's in the same league because he's not as good a performer as Flair. 
he's not as good in the ring. He's not as good on the mic. He's not as good at performance. He's not as legendary. He's just not as good. He That's doesn't true. deserve. But that son of a bitch has had the most impressive run in WWE history. Flair's WWE run really wasn't shit, if you think about it. Yeah. He had that run in 92 that lasted like a year, then he went back, where he had the famous Royal Rumble match. Flair was a much better worker, too. Yeah, man. but you're I'm right. saying WWE. Right. If you're yeah. just, if let's pretend anything outside of WWE doesn't exist in wrestling history. Yeah. And all you know about Flair is what he did in WWE. Right. Not a whole lot to speak of. He won the title once or twice in WWE. The rest were a NWA. Horseman. That was all WCW. Okay. okay. None yeah, of that shit right. was you're WWE. Right. I'm saying if you're you don't right. even know anything outside of WWE, then Flair really isn't that big of a deal. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin was only a four-year run. Hulk Hogan Is was... Is that it for Austin, really? Four, maybe five. Yeah. If you take it a year that he lost from uh, the neck and all that. Yeah. Four or five-year run. Uh, Hulk Hogan's run was only like 8 to 10 years. Cena's had a 15 year run or whatever. In all WWE. He's had a better run in WWE arguably than anybody. Ever. A lot of, you know, ever. I, and I just forgot about that. Maybe like Bruno, the, but the that, Four Horsemen stuff in yeah. that, dude, you're right. Rick, that was WCW. There's never been Four Horsemen. That was WCW. WWE. Yeah, they did Evolution. And Cena's been all WWE. Yeah. They, well, yeah, right. if you can lay your UPW, OVW, but yeah. WWE yeah, yeah, yeah. main stage, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cena's had okay. the greatest run in WWE history, you can make that argument. I just, I think we're going to look at... But does he belong in the same league as Ric Flair as one of the best champions no. of all time? Ric no. Flair was a better worker. Absolutely. Better champion. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it depends. If you talk about a champion as a guy that makes your company money, Cena is a better champion than Flair, because... Well, Flair, made, Flair made money, but not kids. Cena level money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. the company, right? You know, right. But well, yeah. merchandise and kids and drawing. It's and just the idea of Cena know. in the same league as Flair. That's what I roll my eyes at. But absolutely, that son of a bitch yeah. has had the best run maybe yeah. ever in WWE history. Yeah. As far as longevity, it's a different and era too. Being on you know top, I mean? yeah. How many right. guys can you say has been on top that long and has been the guy? The guy. There's always guys that pop up like Edge is a guy or Chris Jericho. They were right. never the guy ever. Right. They might have been the champion. They weren't the guy. Right. It was right. either Austin or Rock or Cena or Hogan. Yeah. There's always been a the guy. Yeah. Uh, none of the, even CM Punk was never the guy. Right. Cena's been the guy for longer than anybody in history. I think we're gonna look back, man. Like I said, in in fifteen twenty years from now, we're gonna look. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm back. I'm not looking back. I'm saying I look at it right now right and now. say you're I right. Know. I know, but a lot of people don't. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. don't. They see John Cena right now and say, oh, yeah, this horny motherfucker, this, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15, 20 years from now, you look back on John Cena and you're going to say, you know what? That guy, at yeah. the time, in 2000, from 2005 to 2014, or however long it's been, yeah, it he long. was the guy. Yeah. He was the guy. I'm saying that now. Well, that, the eye rolling, even 15, 20 years from now, I'm still going to roll yeah. my eyes. Right. Him and Flair, it's just... No. <laughs> right, we're right. As no. far as in ring work and things like that. And are promos. Concerned. And, and, and promos just and being a great champion right, and a great right. wrestling fucking guy. You know, I agree. Cena I agree. is such a douche, but you have to respect his douchey ass because respect. that motherfucker works. He's been on top forever. He's made a bunch of money. He's been right. a champion forever. He's been the guy forever. But he also does tons of charity. He works through injuries. He comes and, back and early from injuries. He fucking. He goes to house shows. He does a media. For and the kids he does love him. Kids and love kids love him. He's a great role model. Kids look up to him as their hero. Exactly. You gotta, if you're you a kid, gotta be able to respect that. If you're a parent with a kid and your kid looks up to John Cena and Cena's whole never give up and hustle loyalty and respect, it may sound douchey to you or me. Never, never cusses on the microphone. Yeah, it may sound douchey to you right. or me, but to a little kid, he's sending your child a great message. He is. Just he like is. Hulk Hogan with to say your prayers, take your vitamins, he is. eat your, you know, all that shit. Even though he was, his vitamins were steroids. <laughs> in the case of Hogan, but that you got to be kids able to didn't kids didn't know that. So right. Everything Hogan was preaching was such a great message for kids. He was a great role right. model. See Cena's the same the thing, same way, same exact thing, same way. And you got to be able to respect that the kids do look up to this guy, and, and that he takes it seriously. And kind of like Bret Hart as a serious. hero, right? Bret right. Hart took his hero shit seriously because of the fans and, and his role model stuff. Right. Seen the same way. That's why he doesn't want to turn heel. He. Right. You can't turn on the kids. They love them. We've got five minutes for rapid fire. Let's fly through real quick. That is a good discussion or a good debate, and we agree with each other. Yeah, but yeah. For you guys, I just wanted to explain the for you rolls. guys to be able to call up and and debate that. You know that in fifteen twenty years from now, I don't. We don't have live phone calls tonight. We had some problems, but there's not many rapid fire. Twenty two. Oh, twenty two. I thought yeah. it said six. No. All right, uh, Jay Mullen. 
Man. <coughs> uh, we can't read. You got to read it here. You guys got Jay to Mullen, one to two lines, please. Jay Mullen says, Why does the media get so butthurt if WWE merely said recent events? Hollywood makes movies depicting things way worse and are blatant of real-life tragic events. Boone keeps saying they strongly allude to recent events isn't strongly alluded. If you've been living under a rock, the Russian-Ukraine political unrest has been going on for a long time and something happened daily there. Just my two cents and I agree with the Clark. My thing was, may, movies do it, yes, but the movie's also rated R. Right. It's not trying, if, if fucking Toy Story had an under-themed message about fucking Russian goddamn terrorists or whatever the fuck, then there'd be just as much out, outrage over that. Right. It's the fact that WWE's geared towards children, specifically aims children, and then sends messages like that. That's fucking wrong. Ali Adair, uh, would yo say you are the biggest mark for Heyman, Ryan? And if not Heyman, who would you guys pick? Boone too. Love the show, guys. I'm a big Thank mark you. for Paul Heyman. Heyman's, I'm a huge mark for Heyman. Who's man. my favorite promo on WWE right now every week? Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. And if it wasn't Heyman, it's CM, CM Punk. If CM Punk was there, it'd still be CM Punk. Yeah. More so than Heyman. Right. Although Rick, Heyman's Rick Flair better. Back in the day I just for love Boone. CM Punk. Rick Flair back in the day for Boone. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, and Jake. Jake as well. Yeah. We go. Michael Benitez says, Do you think Jim Cornette and Earl Hebner, Earl Hebner will get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame someday? Earl Hebner, I think. Well, he did that, that deal where he was illegally selling merchandise, remember? Mm, and he got oh, fired. That's true. That's so true. If Cornette. They, if they forgive him. Both deserve it. Yeah. Uh, will they? Has a referee ever been inducted? Never. I don't think so. No. Never. So no. if they do, Earl, Earl would be the one. Right. Uh, and managers and and Jim Cornette was part of the booking team for a long time too. Cornette deserves to be in there, but hey. he him and WWE are on bad terms. AJ Clark, tomorrow's my 28th birthday. Ryan Clark's biggest fan. Happy birthday, AJ Clark! Yeah, that's Ryan Clark's biggest fan in the chat room. Wish him a happy birthday, you happy son. Happy birthday, Mister Ryan Clark's biggest fan. James Layman, it's crazy to see the difference in Raw when they actually try. Oh, I have a whole column. It's, I can show you on my desktop. It's sitting there right now, and it's called... Yeah. W I'll get it in a second. With network subscriptions coming to an end soon, do you think we will be seeing them putting more emphasis in better shows like last night? Yes. And real quick, real what's, the quick name of the, brother, what's the name of this I title? very, very busy. I can't right, see that, man. It for you. Right, I'll just read it. More proof WWE still has it. When they try is the name of the co column I'm about to write for uh, today. Awesome. More proof that he still has it when they try. It's exactly what he just said. Too. Awesome. So there I agree is my answer. Anthony Remy, you love the sober boon. He's not sober. He's been drinking. I'm sober. And who is to blame for uh, four beers? That's it. I smoked some and weed earlier. And who is to blame for MH17, Malaysian Airlines uh, 17? Wow, I wouldn't have known. Ah, uh, you know, honestly, man, I think it was the Russian rebels. I don't blame Russia. I don't blame Ukraine, but the Russian rebels. All um, right, and they are trained by Russia, so. All right, Tom Nelson says, Hey, guys, what did you think of the Ziggler and Miz match on Raw where a bunch of times you could definitely tell they were talking about their next spots? Rather obvious. I had heard that you could see that they Sometimes were calling spots. Sometimes you could see that. I wasn't. Yeah. I was doing this with play by play, so I didn't see it. But right. I've heard that. Jason Hansen, I thought Battleground and Raw were pretty good. <coughs> My question, <coughs> however, is MMA related. Gina versus Rousey, who you got? I gotta broke, take Rousey. Broke that down. Also, Ryan is a WZR fan. Appreciation. Take the hat off for ten seconds. No sir, brother. All right. You did the other week. That's Dan. Yeah. Dan Lang Langren says, Does Ziggler get that IC title feud with Miz? Then have Sheamus versus Rusev, or something both would be decent matches. I can tell you tonight, SmackDown spoiler, real quick. It do, It looks like they are not going with a long-term Miz-Sheamus feud. Yeah. The Miz-Ziggler feud started tonight at the SmackDown tapings. They actually had a match, Miz against Ziggler, and Ziggler was jobbed out again. Miz picked up the win. Christopher, Christopher Brown. Brown. Go ahead. To, to Christopher Brown says two things. Over the past 15 years or so, which financial endeavor has WWE lost the most money on? The XFL, WWE Studios, or the WWE Network? So far, you would have to say XFL. XFL, right. Uh, the network will end up making money if they, in the long run. They're going to adjust it to where it makes money. Yeah, it'll be the XFL. 
Uh, second thing, they also lost a ton on that WWE New York restaurant. Yeah, yeah, they did. And uh, the did. WBF World Bodybuilding Federation. Right. Second thing, I thought improvements to the WZR set were coming. I seem to remember you guys saying something. We're coming, about. brother. Are we're they? coming. We also Jose, promised Vince Russo. And Jose Leza, did Jarrett lose his hair at Triple Mania? I haven't heard that. Well, I haven't heard I that. I didn't even know he was working at Triple Mania. But uh, David Hadley says, what is the name of that Razor Ramon rap you played at Intermission? It is... Wale, and it's called something. I gotta get this up anyway for the outro. Uh, stall. Do something for a second. Uh, we're gonna continue with rapid fire here this in just a second. Tonight. It's a very, very busy night uh, mm -hmm. on the website, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Whoops. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We're gonna uh, try to take the smaller rapid fire questions right. as well. The song we, uh, we gotta get out of here. The song is called here. Razor Freestyle. It's by Wale. W A L E. Paul oh, Vasquez says. Yeah. How about lots of guys being utilized on a loaded raw last night? Ryder, Ziggler, etc. That's right, Zack Ryder got a win. Yeah, Ryder got a win. One of the most talked about things was the new nation, Biggie Woods and Kingston. What do you think of it? Lashley looked like a clown making comparisons when they've been blatantly ripping off though to be in recent months. I don't know about the Lashley comparisons. That's something. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. I mean, TNA's got a group of African American oh, King, superstars, Lashley right? Kenny and King and uh, MVP. MVP is, is the other one. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, they called him out last night on Twitter. You know, Good MVP point. replied with a wink face. This uh, we've said it time and time again. WWE, TNA, they copy each other's ideas. Not copy, but well, they, they the whole reason they, they put ideas. Summer and Layla together was because of uh, the return of the beautiful people. The beautiful people, right? Yeah. So both companies take ideas from each other. It's been happening for the last twelve years now since TNA. TNA. Or hey, Romero, what story with Sandow? He's in the doghouse, or truly creative has nothing for him. He's in the doghouse, man. I, we don't know exactly what he did, but. He's been in the uh, the yeah. doghouse for a while. Jason Lewis says, "Should Lana be fired like Abraham Washington was?" It's not Lana's fault, man. It's WWE creative's team. Yeah. I mean, they're the Why ones that are coming she up. Read her script. Yeah. She read. She read what she was told. Yeah. Or hey, Romero again. Uh, which uh, Bella will you guys bang, Nikki or Bree? I think Bree's hotter. I think Nick's, Daniel Bryan's like. I like Nikki. Nikki's Do got you? a better body. Yeah, ah. Bree's got the prettier face, even though they're twins. <laughs> I'm all about Britain. Yeah. Vincent Nugent and Ryan and Matt, uh, should people not fly any Malaysian Airlines flights from now on? It How seems dumb those, question is that? That's the dumbest question I've ever... I mean, one of them got lost, the other one got shot down. Yeah, the, it the it one seems that, those airplanes are always being targeted and stuff. What do you guys think? The one that got shot down was just because they were in the territory of Ukraine yeah, and Russia. Could have been any flight. Oh, I mean, man. I guess not. I guess it was. Anthony Remy, next time WWE's in Chicago, WWE should have Sandow come out of CM Punk. Not going to do that. No. David Hadley, I get some work in my eyes, says, What do you think about WWE trying to block out indie promotions from having shows during WrestleMania week? And do the indie shows have any effect on WWE's business? I can answer the second part of that. Do the indie shows have any effect on WWE's business? On WrestleMania, an indie show hurting ticket sales. For WrestleMania. Everybody's in town for WrestleMania. Yeah, they want extra shit to go to. That's why they and, do it. And they do it every year. WWE they, trying they, to shut those down. They try to do it every year. They no, try no. to do it at 30, 29, and twenty-eight as well. Every year we come up with this. They're trying to block uh, indie promotions from running shows in the area. Dan Lang Landgren. Nikki uh, got the titties, but Bree is toned, toned as fuck. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Bree's got the better body, I I think. Nikki's got the better body. No, she got the curves. Nikki's got the bigger tits. Bree's in better, better shape, body. but Nikki's got the better body. That's what I think. All David right. Hadley says, "Should Rusev win the U.S. title? No. Keep the secondary titles off of him. It'll make him seem like a mid." Uh, nip slip from Vincent Nugent. Uh, nip slips you wise, talking about you that. Prefer out of the Bella Twins, Bree's nipples or Nikki's nipples? Nikki's got the bigger boobs, but I'm yeah. a big fan of Bree. Well, nipples or nipples? David Hadley says, "How can I get a WZR T-shirt?" Webmaster ProWrestlingScoops.com. It's Webmaster at ProWrestlingScoops. Dot com. Shoot him an email, he'll uh, ship you one. Jason out. Hansen, whatever happened to Sonny, Piper, and Rusev being on <laughs> WZR? I tweeted Sonny the other day. I said, I'm worried about you. Uh, get back to me. She sent me a reply. She said that she had lost her phone to send her a text message, and I will be doing that in the near future. Russo. Real quick, real quick. Russo. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I thought you were done. Russo, um, still talking to him. We'll get him on here. Uh, JTG and Chad Gaspard, and you guys have seen my tweets to both of them on Twitter. 
they are going to come on here as a tag team to promote upcoming appearances. Shad's been on here before, so that's not going to be a problem. But the both of them, Crime Time, is going to be on here. And I can guarantee um, you we're going to start having big name MMA guests on the show because i got to right. start doing interviews. you got to start doing yeah. interviews. But Crime Time, both of them are going to be on here. So Dan Langren says, agreed, and I want to get a WZR shirt. Webmaster, so. ProWrestlingScoop.com. Sounds I'm fine. Vincent like Nugent, you got enough tonight. What do we got? Nick Dodge. When is the next WWE Network subscriber count? A couple weeks. End of this month, right? Yeah, yeah. Next conference call. Whenever next conference is. call. Yeah. Right. Uh, the final one. Arturo Velasquez Jr., what do you guys think, or what do you think Flair should be placed in as far as a manager, GM, or analyst? They don't have any ideas for Ric Flair. It's his the reason thing lately, I'm wrong. Every time he's come, he's, they've asked him to give his prediction on whatever main event's coming up. Right. He predicted right. the uh, Shield over Revolution, or the Evolution over Shield, whatever that one was. He cut the promo he last week. Cena. He predicted Batista at the Royal Rumble. Right. So, yeah, he's just been doing predictions. Uh, they were going to put him with Miz. They decided not to. Right. Thank God. Put him with Ziggler. He man. wants to be with Ziggler. I said, right. give him to Ziggler. Give him the You're not Ziggler. doing nothing with Ziggler. You can't I figure agree. nothing out with Flair. I oh, agree. here you go. Now you got something you can do. I agree. I agree, man. There's something what? with Ziggler that they, they chopped him out again tonight at the SmackDown tapings. Brother, yes. that's Tuesday night. That's we got to get out of here. Night. Sorry for rushing through the uh, rapid fire. We just we had a late start tonight. We had the production issue, so uh, we had to rush through. It is going to be a very busy night on the websites. I'm telling you guys, before I came on here tonight, I like to have everything caught up and up to date, yeah. ready to go. I got You're six behind. posts. <laughs> I got six posts that are going up right now. In addition to that, SmackDown spoilers, <sighs> main event results, the dark matches from SmackDown, what happened after SmackDown, all this stuff is going up on WZOnline.com. Robbie quick. versus Robbie Lawler versus Matt Brown this Saturday. Who you got? Robbie Lawler's my dude. I'm going Robbie Lawler you know as well. Uh, it's about time, man. And you you and no, I like Lawler. I know you do. I picked I Rory you. McDonald, right. the one you keep writing right. about. I think Rory's a beast. But uh, yes, all right, so no we both doubt. got Lawler over Brown. Uh, Antonio Hagerio Nogueira, Little Nogueira versus yep. Anthony Johnson. Um, Nogueira. E Nogueira. I'm going to go Johnson, but I could yes. see, I could see What's that. What's better? Uh, the third's Clay Guida versus Dennis Bermudez. My boy Clay Guida. Can't, can't bet against him. Got to go Guida. I'm going to go Guida, but I could see Bermudez win. All right. So we We're out of here, brother. All That's except a one. Tuesday night. We're going to see you guys next Feedback. Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern time. Submit some Feedback. Where? Boone's Facebook page, my Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR, Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Go there, submit feedback. We're going to put the post up right now. That's Tuesday night. That's All WZR right. TV. Yes, Stay tuned to the websites tonight and throughout the week. Post Battleground news, post Raw news, tons of stuff tonight, tons of stuff tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow night, Thursday. Thursday night, Friday, shit, Saturday and Sunday too. Well, Even I'm, next Monday, well, and then we'll see that. him again next Tuesday. Boom, <laughs> Matt Boone, Me. Ryan Clark. Same see you next Tuesday night, yes. eight ten Eastern time. Great time. WCROnline.com. Boom.